Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? I know you're feeling it. <laughs> what's going on? Movie Dojo Army, what's cracking? Hanging out tonight uh, with your boy, Fat Samurai Guy. Gonna have some fun with the badasses. Talking movies and pop culture and all that good stuff. As well as uh, do a little bit of unboxing. Uh, tonight with you guys. I haven't done an, an unboxing video in a while. So, and this is one hell of a, one hell of an unboxing. So let's see who's in the house. What legends, what ninjas, samurai, Shaolin monks. Who Who's in the house? Who we got here tonight? We got The View with Drew. What's going on, my friend? All right. We got a uh, Reaper X 187 in the house. Brandon Lewis, Tyler in the house. Saverio, what's going on? Kizzy and Dan Chronicles. Oh, <laughs> I need this set in my life ASAP. I know, right? Craziness, right? Flick Snacks and Nick Knacks. The legend himself. That's right. Derek up in the hazy. For sheezy. That's right. Who else we got here? Uh, Psych in the house. Brandon Lewis, the Asian movie enthusiast. That's right. Always oh, watching Chinatown Kid right now. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah, that is, a, that is a classic with the Shogun. We got the Shogun watching over the Samurai tonight. That's right. Kijouak, what's going on? Happy New Year to you, my friend. Sexy Sumo. All right. Eric in the house. The other Eric. All right. We got Thrash Pondo in the house. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Uh, Severio. Sexy Sumo. All right. Oh, shade. All right. All right, let's go ahead and uh, I guess we got enough. We got 25 badasses already here uh, hanging out. So let's go ahead and get the unboxing going on. And what I did was since this is still wrapped, like this is a legit unboxing right now. <laughs> so what I did is uh, what I'll do is I'll do some screen share action. And uh, what we'll do is uh, I'll show you at least what the screen, what the screenshots of the Blu-ray picture looks like off, off of uh, Blu-ray.com. So you guys gonna, that's the closest I can give you in terms of, you know, of a review, basically, you guys can see what the photos look, uh, the photos of the picture quality looks like. What's going on? Sauti, what's cracking? All right. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, get this, get this up and running. And then after we're done with this, then we can still have some fun talking movies and whatever you guys want to talk about. All right. So thanks to Lady Fat Blood. That's right. She got this for the old samurai guy for Christmas. That's right. Here it is. And all its wonderful glory. That's right. Now, this is the UK version. This is the UK version. So I'm not sure if there's a big difference. Uh, maybe on the inside, there's a, there's a big difference. But uh, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up here. All right. Live unboxing. Yeah. Need to do uh, some more of these. And, uh, of course, obviously, a big shout out to 88 Films and Eureka. We're doing their own awesome, amazing uh, re title releases as well. And uh, 88 Films, man, they they have they have their own Shaw Brother movies coming out. I actually have several already. Uh, so far, so good, though, Shaw Brother collectors. They haven't released, like, the same titles at the same time. So I, or, or in the library. That's what I was concerned about because I was like, man, you know, before this box set came out, I was all like, oh, shit. You know, do I own these already from 88 Films? But luckily, it's all been different. So uh, what's going on, Sean? What's cracking, man? All right. Woo, look at this hefty heftiness here. It is hefty. All right, get that plastique off there. And holy moly guacamole. Uh, I'm going to take this off. I know some people like to keep these on. I'm going to take it off. That way you guys can see uh, the back there as well. So you got the front right here. Ooh, ah, Buyakasha. Oh, look at it, look at it. And uh, you got some artwork on the back there, some text. That's right. Love it, love it. And uh, we got the side. We got the, whoop, whoop. <laughs> almost destroyed the laptop. We got the side here. I don't know if you can see that. Too bright. But it's got Shaw Brothers here as well as Shaw Scope on the other. There you go. You can see that a little bit better. All right. All right, let's see what we got going here. Holy crap. So you get what you pay for for this. So look at this. This is like insane. All these special features on here. This is nuts, man. Like this is really crazy. 
Oh my goodness. All right. Woo! So it says um, high definition Blu-ray presentations of all twelve films. So we got twelve movies, including seven new two K restorations uh, by Arrow Films, which is awesome. Uh, illustrated sixty-page collector's book featuring new writing by David Desser, Terrence J. Brady, and James Flower, plus cast and crew listings and notes on each film by Simon Abrams. New artwork by Sam Gibley, Matthew Griffin, Chris Malbin, Jacob Phillips, uh, that? Lon Shetty, Tony Stella, Darren Wheeling, and Joyon Yates. Hours of never-before-seen bonus features, including several cast and crew interviews. Uh, let's see. Two CDs. Now, this tripped me out, guys. This <laughs> Two CDs of music. What? <laughs> like it's like got soundtracks on here, man. That's insane. Uh, so yeah, two CDs of music from the De Wolf Music Library, as heard in six of the films, exclusive to this collection. So, so who knows if Arrow will release another non-limited edition uh, without the soundtracks in it? I mean, who knows? Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, hopefully I don't botch this too much. But this is heavy. This is heavy, man. So let's, we got to go on to slide this out. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this. Tis a butte. Is a butte. Look at this booklet, man. Got a wonderful booklet there. And this is thick. There you go. I love the, the classic the end credits for the Shaw Brother movies <laughs> on the back here. That's a, that's, that's a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, this, uh, Wow. We got all kinds of artwork on the inside here. There you go. All kinds of cool artwork here. Photos. We got photos. And a brief history of Shaw Brothers Studio. Just tons of, man, very high quality. And looks like they break down each movie, too. They got the, like, for example, if you got film notes, trivia, and all kinds of behind the scenes. Uh, stuff right here for every movie uh, on the inside there. So this is pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome for sure. Man, this is a lot. Holy crap. Yeah, they do it for every single movie. Oh, more more awesome artwork on here. And uh, there you go. Hubba, hubba, hubba. There you go. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty awesome. Really, really high quality stuff here. So Gonna have to check this out fully another time. Let's get to the meat here. Get to the meat. All right. Again, I'm not sure if this setup is totally different from the American release over here. Okay. So here we go. Shaw Scope Volume One. There it is. We got some badass martial artists and monks and warriors on the on the rear side here, on the reverse here. All right, I'm going to open this up here. Oh, my goodness. So it looks like the, it's all sleeves. It's all sleeve style here. Very interesting. Yo, yo, the artwork in here is fucking great. <laughs> this is all, this is like, this is like first class shit right here, guys. Seriously. Uh, I know, I, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of sleeves. So again, the American release might be different, but in terms of, presentation and artwork i mean check this out so first up we got king boxer starring low lee i mean look at this beautiful look at it. you got the blu-ray disc right here information about the movie and look at that artwork right there look at that man this is this is amazing stuff look at this for every single movie in here wow there you go. We got the the box. There we go. Boxer from Shang Tung's artwork. There. There we go. Shaolin Temple. There you go. This is this is insane. Uh, we got mighty, mighty Peking Man right there. <laughs> And this one has two movies on one disc. Disc 5 does. It has 
Challenge of the Masters and Executioners of Shaolin. So you got two films on one disc here. And uh, Chinatown Kid, that's right. Another favorite, definitely another favorite. And uh, bad joke of the day. We have dad joke of the day. There you go. From Sexy Sumo. <laughs> you almost got the Redford Sumo. Not, not, you, almost, you almost got it. Let's see here. Um, all right. This is also no, disc seven is another two, another double feature on the same disc. Woo, man, the five Venoms and Crippled Masters, you guys. Holy crap. Oh, this is phenomenal. This is phenomenal. Another amazing, amazing double feature, Disc 8. Oh, my God, this is phenomenal. We got hero two, two of the best of all time, Heroes of the East and Dirty Ho. Yes. <laughs> I said it. That's right. Dirty Ho. Yeah, it's phenomenal stuff, man. Phenomenal. And I think I think that's it. And now we have music from Shaolin Temple, Mighty Peking Man, and Chinatown Kid. So we have the first soundtrack right here. There we go. Awesome. Awesome stuff. And Music from the next CD, music from the Five Venoms. Wow, the Five Venoms. That's great, man. The Five Venoms, Crippled Avengers, and Dirty How. That's right. And that's on the back. I know there's a lot of light, but yeah, that's on the last CD. Beautiful, but just high quality shit. I'm telling you, Arrow really uh, went above and beyond with this set. And I'm look. I'm already looking forward to volume two here. <laughs> I'm already looking forward to volume two. This is insane. This is insane. Uh, Thirty six chambers is not in there. I don't. Let me, let me double check here. So let's do some screen share options so you guys can see shots of the picture here. Hold on. Let me bring this up. Hold on. Let me bring up the screen share here. Anyway, you can look along with the samurai guy. All right, Buyaka Shah. All right, let me go back one here. Let's see what we got going here. Hold on. Let me uh, make sure. There we go. Get more more picture quality, big, bigger picture so you guys can see clear here. All right, so let me go back one more. All right. So these are, again, let's go over it again. This is the listings in the set. So you got King Boxer, Boxer for Shang Tan. Uh, five Shaolin Masters, Shaolin Temple, The Mighty Peking Man, Challenge of the Masters, Excuse from Shaolin, Chinatown Kid, Five Venoms, Crippled Avengers, Heroes of the East, Dirty Hell. So, so no 36 Chambers of Shaolin. Don't be surprised, though, if that's in the next uh, volume coming. So don't be surprised about that one. <laughs> All right, so let's get a closer look up uh, some of these screenshots here. So let's start with King Boxer. As you guys would know, more so as Five Fingers of Death over here. And uh, all you Kill Bill fans, uh, someone gave this three stars. Wow. So I don't know. Is, is this person a, a, a Kung Fu movie fan? I'm not sure. Three stars? Really? Average? I don't know about all that. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the screenshots here. Uh, for Yeah, for all you Kill Bill fans, you know, with that, you know, the siren sound throughout the movie, uh, that came from this movie. Yeah, when he would charge up with his superpower that's right uh which if it which may have came from another movie you never know <laughs> before this but yeah let's take a look at the screenshots here all right let's take a look at this looks good looks great this looks phenomenal uh it looks way better than all y'all know who that is that's right early bolo young action we got here <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this picture quality is, looks pretty good to me in terms of the color and everything. It looks pretty fantastic to me, especially, I mean, come on, like, uh, if, if we go, if we're moving up from DVD here and, you know, I have an old DVD of this film, 
So looking at these screenshots here, this is very, very well done. And here's that awesome artwork. Uh, looks like they have it as the menu here. Uh, this is the classic. Uh, this I may be mistaken, but this might be the first kung fu movie shown over here in America. I might be wrong with that. But, um, you know, uh, I'm not going to spoil any of these films for you in case you guys want to watch it. But uh, uh, it's pretty badass, man. Uh, it's old school kung fu. So don't be expecting the raid kind of shit with, <laughs> with any of these movies. But that's not what these movies are about. These movies help pave the way. You know, old school classic kung fu. But we have Lo Lee here, the, the, the legend. Uh, and he he's a badass martial artist. Uh, but he meets a better fighter that fucks his hands up and, uh, he pretty much gives up until he figures out a way to, uh, to heal himself and improve on his martial arts style to whip out the five fingers of death, which is really, you know, if you think about it, it's, you know, hands of death or hand of death, <laughs> whatever's the easiest way. But yeah, King Boxer is definitely uh, a lot of fun here. Let me make sure I'm not uh, uh, missing any comments here. All right, let's go to the next one. But yeah, those those screenshots look good to me. Those definitely look like they've been remastered from those old dusty DVDs. All right, next up, the boxer from Shang Tung. Yes. All right. Uh, well, this whoever reviewed this liked this a little bit more than uh, Five Fingers of Death, uh, which is nice. And uh, this stars. Chen Quan Tai, and again, I, so I apologize for all the, uh, the the bad name pronounces, uh, but uh, yeah, this is Mister Shaw Brothers. That's right, he, that was his nickname. Uh, he was a martial artist champion uh, and that got some buzz, and they hired him. He's like, hey, do you want to be in films? And uh, he starred in the boxer from Shang Tung. Uh, great, this man, these this looks great. These screenshots look really good, really good. Again, old school classic uh, martial arts scenes, uh, which to the modern day audience probably may not impress. However, there's Ku Fang right there. I, I, this is this guy right here. Ku Fang is like one of my favorite uh, character actors. He's such he's so good. Uh, still entertaining. However, the finale is fucking legit. <laughs> the finale is legit, and there's a little menu of a little slice and dice. Uh, uh, highlight of what the finale might look like when you watch it. But yeah, uh, the finale is fucking great. But yeah, Boxer from Shang Tong is, uh, is a classic. Let's go back again. Keep it rocking and rolling. Actually, uh, let, let's, uh, I forgot to read the special features for King Boxer. Hold on. <laughs> All right. So brand new 2K restoration uh, from a 4K scan of the original negative for King Boxer. 1080p Blu-ray presentation. Uh, newly uh, uncompressed Mandarin and English original mono audio. Uh, new translated English subtitles. That's right. Uh, brand new commentary on here as well. And uh, new newly filmed appreciation by film critic and historian Tony Raines. Tons of interviews. There's just too much. I don't want to bore you guys too much, but there's a lot. There's a lot on here. Uh, let's go ahead and keep it going here. Yeah, the boxer from Shang Tung. Also 2K restored. Tons of tons of good shit. All right, let's keep it going here. So let's go to five Shaolin Masters. And this has uh, five Shaolin Masters slash Shaolin Temple. I forgot to mention that disc three was a double feature as well. Um, let's see here. And this, I, I you know what? I've only seen this movie once. And I remember liking it. I remember the end finale fight was the best part of it. But uh, this 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 is the cast in this is worth worth seeing. I mean, you have David Chang, you got uh, Alexander Fu Shang, you got I think T Lung is in this as well. Um, let's see, screenshots look good to me. Again, we're, we're we're moving up from DVD here. Yeah, there he is. There's there's delicious. <laughs> there's T Lung right there. David Chang. Yeah, I remember this being pretty fun. There's Fu Shang, Alexander Fu Shang, and an another legend. I think this actor's name is Meng Fei, but I might be wrong on that one. But yeah, I remember this being fun. I remember there was some good stuff in it, especially uh, uh, at the end, for sure. But yeah, screenshots look good. Picture looks pretty good to me. All right, let me go back here. Let's take a look at the next one. I'm having fun with you guys tonight. 
Let's see. Oh, they didn't like, oh, this person, 2.5. They, they didn't like this one that much. Okay. All right. Wow. Wow. That's really low. Again, I've only seen it once, so I would have to rewatch it. But see, that's the awesome thing uh, about this set is I get to basically revisit all of these with beautiful picture quality that destroys the old VHS, destroys the bad, you know, third party DVDs and, you know, even the Celestial Pictures DVDs that came out in the uh, back in the day that were remastered. This is just this is going to destroy that. So it's going to be fun uh, revisiting, uh, the old one. See, Eric knows what's up. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. For sure. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Having fun here. Uh, but yeah, I remember it being fun. I enjoyed it. I don't remember loving it. Uh, but five shallow masters, I, I did. I liked it. Uh, but yeah, let's keep going here. But yeah, it's worth watching for the cast. It's just nuts that everybody's in that same movie. All right. Shaolin temple. Now I remember, Again, I've only seen this one once, but I remember liking this one a lot. I remember liking this one a lot. So three. Oh, come on. Come on. Man, who is reviewing these movies? <laughs> three? An average movie? Really? Okay. Oh, my God. All right. But yeah. All right. Look at that picture. Looks great. Uh... Alexander Fushane is here. I'm always forgetting this actor's name, but he's a, he's a badass martial artist as well. Uh, but yeah, let's look at some of these screenshots here. Look at this. looks great. This looks really good. There he is. Wang Lung Wei. One of my favorite heavies in martial arts movies, man. One of my favorite uh, heavies of all time. I tried to meet him. There was a, there was an actual, uh, uh, convention, martial arts convention way back in the day. And he was on the card. He was supposed to be there and, uh, he couldn't make it. And I was like, no, uh, but yeah, he, he's a, he's a amazing badass here. Picture looks good to me. And he got T lung there, but yeah, this, I remember enjoying this one a lot. Yeah. There's some good shit in here. Look at that. We got some training sequences. Yeah. Look at this picture is really good. This is good shit right here. Nice, nice. All right. Let's go to the next one here. All right. All right. <laughs> Eric's favorite. All you kaiju movie fans. I'm sure this is your favorite. <laughs> the Mighty Peking Man. Yeah. But hold on. Let me go back to see uh, what, what the person gave. The person gave it a 3.5. Okay. I was, I was curious about it. The Mighty Peking Man. Yes. Said... Shaw Brothers was like, fuck you. We're making our own King Kong type movie. Fuck you. So, they, so that's what they did. <laughs> it's been forever since I've seen this. But all I can tell you is I, I, I every time I look at the title and uh, see screenshots, I, re, I, I remember liking it a lot. I remember laughing a lot. And uh, the, <laughs> the actress in the movie is hilarious. Not hilarious. The actress in the movie is very 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 fetching as my my homie eric would say uh but yeah it's fucking funny man like i was rolling man rolling but i would love i can't wait to revisit this and and beautiful picture here but yeah we got some high quality shaw brothers fucking over here that's right that's how we roll right and and mighty peaking man you know he's he's just looking in like damn that looked like fun <laughs> Oh my god. Oh yeah. But Danny Lee, man. Oh my god. It's so bizarre. His the early career of Danny Lee before he found the killer, before he found his niche, his niche as a hard boiled cop and then became a star. Man, he was kind of in every, every genre. He was kind of all over the place. Um, but uh yeah, after the killer, that was it for him. He went up and uh finally found what he was like really, really good at. But yeah, like I said, quite fetching quite fetching we got the jaguar look we got her hanging out here <laughs> but yeah i can't wait to watch this movie uh again because i know i'm gonna be laughing hysterically and having a blast all over again oh there you go there's there's my guy ku fang that's right yeah and uh, he's gonna fuck some shit up right here that's right <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. This one's going to be fun. You know, to be honest, I was actually kind of surprised that was in the first box. I, when, I, when I read the list, I was like, Mighty Peaking, man. It's fun, but I was just kind of surprised that was in there. Um, you think somebody would have maybe put 36 Chamber uh, instead of this in there. But, hey, I like how they're putting a little bit of everything. Because Shaw, Shaw Brothers Studios did all genres. Of course, I'm obviously more fans of the, you know, Kung Fu and martial arts and horror and all that. All right, let's see. Let's keep going here. All right, Challenge of the Masters. We're now getting in. Oh, this person gave it a 3.5. We're now getting into the legend himself. That's right, man. Lao Kao Liang. Yes, Lu Chi Liang, the, the, the master. Uh, with, our, with, our, with Uncle uh, Kung Fu Santa says... Uh, he's the best Kung Fu movie ma- uh, director ever. And I can't really argue against that because he's just phenomenal. All right. Let's look at some of these screenshots here. All right. Looks pretty, looks good to me. I believe in this one, uh, Gordon Liu, that's right. Master killer himself, uh, plays Wong Fei Hung in this. He plays a young Wong Fei Hung. Lily Lee's great. She's always, uh, I always thought she was a very underrated, um, uh, Kung Fu Queen. Very underrated. Very underrated, in my opinion. She's pretty badass. But yeah, look at this picture, man. This looks great. There he is. There he is. I kind of remember him being the villain in this. And I remember the fight at the end was really good, too. We got some more legends right here. That's right. I think they, ca- I might be mistaken, but I think this guy's nickname was Big Mouth Ho. Now, I know what you're saying now. Now, Samurai, you can- Samurai, you talking shit. You cracking jokes. I could have sworn I heard that was his nickname. <laughs> Big mouth ho. I'm not making it up. All right. Unless I heard wrong. Uh, but yeah, this picture looks really good. This looks pretty good. You got a very young Wong Yu there. There you go. There we have Lockhart Leung's brother. Another amazing martial artist. There he is. And Mr. Shaw Brothers himself is back, Chen Quan Tai, and playing another role here. But yeah, this looks great. This looks great. All right, let's go to the next one. So far, so good in terms of the picture quality uh, from these screenshots. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and get into. Ooh, here's a big one. This is a big one. Speaking of all you um, Kill Bill fans, once again. Well, feast your eyes on the origins of Pai Mei. That's right. <laughs> Lo Li uh, uh, plays Pai Mei, the white-browed monk, and is like one of the best kung fu movie villains ever because he just doesn't have a weakness, or does he? Uh, picture looks good here. And, of course, we have a great memorable scene in the movie where <laughs> Chen Quan Tai, Mr. Shaw Brothers, see, now you guys are seeing, well, he has that nickname because you're going to see him a lot. Uh, but, uh, great scene. Rick Myers talks about this scene all the time where <laughs> Lily Lee's a Kung Fu master of her style. Chen Quan Tai is a Kung Fu master of his style. And so they fall in love and on their wedding night, they, she's just like, no, you're going to earn it. No, you're going to have to earn it. So they have this like, uh, Kung Fu kind of battle in bed before, uh, she's like, all right, you've earned it. <laughs> but yeah, very, very, it was, it was a fun scene for sure. There was a fun scene. There he is. Big mouth hole. He's back. Yeah, picture looks pretty good. There he is, Pai Mei. That's right. There he is, man. And Fist of the White Lotus, where he returns as that character, is just... He, he's just so good. <laughs> that, is that character, man. But yeah, this is a classic. Executioners from Shaolin is, 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 a, is a classic for sure. All right, let's keep it rocking and rolling. We are on fire here. All right, let's see here. All right, Chinatown Kid. Uh, apparently, 36 Chambers of Chow Lin, a.k.a. Master Killer, was what got Gordon Liu popular over here in America. Uh, but Chinatown Kid uh, uh, put uh, Alexander Fu Shang on notice here in, uh, in America. Fans over here were like, hey, we like that guy. They, this Chinatown Kid really resonated with uh, the American audience and Fu Shang is great. And you can, you can, you could see how, <laughs> you know, some people call Alexander Fu Shang kind of a proto Jackie Chan. 
uh, because he, he was very good at doing comedy, but he can also act and do serious roles if he needed to. Uh, but yeah, I could kind of see that in this, but yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, and someone again, doesn't know Kung Fu films and gave this movie a three. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. That's the only bad thing about re-release, re-releasing classic movies for new people to enjoy is a good thing. But unfortunately, you have modern-day movie reviewers that don't know the genre reviewing these old films and don't understand them. So that's the only bad thing <laughs> about uh, re-releasing these old movies. But yeah, this was fun, man. Uh, this was... Uh, you got one of the Venoms here. That's right. Uh, this was a great time, for sure. Kung Fu comedy. But then it gets real. It gets real, especially at the end. There he is, Wang Lung Wei, looking like a pimp. That's right. Yeah, this was this was good stuff. This was just nothing but fun. There he is, Lo Mang. I think uh, I think several of the Venoms are in this movie as well. Uh, but yeah, this was just just a fun flick. I'm curious which version this is. Um, but but uh, you know the the plot of this movie is, you know you know he's 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 low on funds. He's kind of down and out. And he uh, starts to uh, get get a little bit of fame. Of course, fame ends up costing him in the, at the end. And he comes across some uh, some uh, some some roughnecks. But three out of five, yeah. So this person obviously doesn't know what they're talking about, man. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see. I'm going to come back. I'm trying not to miss you guys' comments in case you had anything there. What's up, Deflex Zone? What's going on? It's all the badasses. All right. All right. Back to it. Having fun here. Tino, what's going on, man? What's going on, man? He's, a, he's about to visit all the classics. That's right. That's right. That's how, that's how it is, man. That's how it is. All right. Okay. Uh, Chinatown. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious which version this is. I actually own three different versions of Chinatown Kid. <laughs> so... I have a full screen third party version. That was my first version that I had. And I watched that and I enjoyed it. And then the Celestial Pictures remastered DVD came out. And I was like, man, wow, this picture looks great, you know, for the time. And 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 then the ending was completely different. The ending was completely different. I was like, what? Wait, wait a minute. It's not the version I have. And then I came across a bootleg horrible uh version i bought it again but at least it was widescreen and it had the ending that the full screen version had so i'm curious um okay okay eric's here eric says i think they had two versions on the blue oh shit no way all right all right hold on let me let me try to find it thank you thank you uh eric uh, brand new 2K restoration of the 115 minute international version from the original film elements. International cut and the 90 minute alternate version. Hell yeah. All right. Thank you, Eric. Nice. Nice. Cool. Cool. All right. Let's keep it rocking and rolling here. All right. Let's see here. All right. So here we go. The Five Venoms. Another classic. Oh, this person liked like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for giving our classic Kung Fu movies a good review. Very nice of you. How, how nice. All right. Let's take a look at the screenshots here. Yeah. Looking good. There he is. Philip Kwok. Philip Kwok, man. Might be my favorite Venom. He might be my favorite because he's just good at everything but I, I i i don't know i don't know that's the thing that's the awesome thing about my the, the venom's crew is that they're all so good that i i bounce around who's my favorite like lu fang right here i had the honor of meeting him at dragon fest and i got my picture taken with him and a very very humble um very sweet man he was very nice and he was surprised he had fans it was crazy i was like dude you're fucking lu fang son like, <laughs> and all these guys, the Venom crew guys, they're good at everything. Weapons, acrobatics, like, 
it's phenomenal the movies that they've been in for sure but yeah this picture looks really good this picture look this pops look at this look at a classic got all the classic masks on there oh yeah for sure definitely that's some good shit right there and you know what's funny about the five venoms um is or the five deadly venoms is uh <laughs> believe it or not uh, the fighting is the fighting that's in the movie is very, very. Is, is, the fighting that's in the movie is good, but believe it or not, the movie's a mystery. It's actually a kung fu mystery. <laughs> it's kind of a whodunit type movie. A majority of all the action is really at the end, uh, which surprised me. Uh, first time I saw it, I wasn't expecting. It. I was like, man, this is a straight up legit uh, mystery flick, you know. Oh, Marco G's here. Tino, he loves some some Venoms. You got Tino there. He loves the Venoms. Heather loves Venoms. Oh shit, that's right. Got got the legends representing here in the in the in the stream right now. All right, let's go to Crippled Avengers. So now, in terms of progressing with fight sequences, the fight scenes in Five Venoms were were very good. But of course, with every Venom movie where they had to showcase their their skills, they just got better and better and better like masked Avengers and just, it's just crazy what they're able to do. So uh, they call it the return of the five deadly venoms, but it's not a sequel. It has nothing to do with the, uh, the first film. Oh, how generous a 3.5, how generous, how generous of a rating, sir. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this one's insane. <laughs> there's my boy there, Lu Fang son. And there's Cheng Shang there. I, I call him the Yuan Biao of the group because he's got that light skill and he's like, his acrobatic skills are insane. Like, it's nuts, man. <laughs> it's nuts. Uh, but yeah, you have an, an evil dictator. Again, played by Mr. Shaw Brothers, Chen Quan Tai. And, uh, you know, he rich, evil, and uh, goes around to get revenge on <laughs> the, 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 the Kung Fu masters that fucked up his son's hands, as you can see right here. So he goes around and uh, basically just destroys uh, another martial arts fighter's legs, arms. Uh, Philip Kwok gets bl gets blinded, so he's got to pull a Zatoichi the rest of the movie. And so they they get together, and uh, martial arts master teaches them the way to improve. Uh, there's Wang, Wang Lung Wei again, and of course Lo Mang. There he is, Mister Shaw Brothers. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, a very fun. Very fun movie, for sure. Definitely some good stuff in there. And Lo, Lo Mang really shined in this one. He really shined because I believe he got his tongue ripped out. He, they, he The villain made him a mute. <laughs> so he communicated the rest of the movie uh, by just, you know, body motions and stuff like that. But it's a, it's a fun flick, and it's violent. It's good shit. But yeah, these screenshots look good to me. It looked good to me. Look at that red. I mean, it really color really pops. So again, uh, definitely a step up from the old school DVD for sure. All right, we're we're almost done. We're getting there. We're almost there. Uh, let's see here. Two more left. Oh shit! Now we're back to the legend again, Lark Leung. We're back to him, the greatest kung fu movie director ever made, according to Rick Myers. Heroes of the East, man, the kung fu version of Kramer versus Kramer. Uh, 3.5. Oh, how generous. How generous to give this classic a 3.5. Oh, oh. <laughs> this, another uh, martial arts. Th there is comedy in it, but it's just so good. Uh, Lock Art Leung's so good at storytelling that it's basically a martial arts competition type movie where it's not a tournament movie, but uh, you know, we have here, uh, Gordon Liu marries a Japanese uh, woman. And so you have two different, you know, two different like style of customs and, you know, two, it's two different countries, two different, very different. So that's where a lot of the comedy comes in. But he, Gordon Liu ends up getting challenged by a lot of Japanese martial artists. And now we're talking, look at that picture. This man is the, he, this is the motherfucking man right here. Shoji Kurata or Yasuraki Kurata is this dude is I don't want to get in a fight with this dude. Like, no, no, this dude is deadly, deadly. And he had fun in here. 
doing his little crab style ninjutsu. Uh, but yeah, they're like, what? He said, what about Kung Fu? Oh, we going to go over there. We're going to show them Japanese styles the best. And so we have all of these different styles challenging. Look at that picture. Challenging Gordon Liu. And it's just a phenomenal, very fun movie uh, that is very different and uh, very different, but in a good way for sure. But yeah, this looks great. This looks really good. Phenomenal. Heroes of the East is just one of the best for sure. Lock Hall Leung can make he makes some of the best martial arts kung fu films ever. When you know they're so good, even though this person gave it a 3.5. <laughs> uh, it wasn't as good as the raid. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> uh, right. But what's so great about Lock Hall Leung's movies is that he can make you a badass martial arts movie where you have all these fight scenes in it and nobody dies and you don't care <laughs> because the fight scenes were phenomenal. The story was great. And you like the characters name somebody else who could do that right now. Nobody dies. And it's still phenomenal martial arts film. N n nobody else could do that right now. Nobody. Right. Lark Carl Young did it back in the day. That's right. Or 36 chamber of Shaolin, another classic. But th if you look at that movie, that movie is a movie about discovering oneself and Gordon Liu finding his true purpose and, and finding out who he's meant to be, you know, Sante Monk. And the whole entire movie is training sequences. <laughs> like 80% of 36 Chamber of Shaolin is training sequences, but there's a, there's a purpose, there's a point to that movie. And I'm sure when that comes out on Blu-ray, you know, some some idiot's gonna give it a three. I'm gonna give it a three point three, <laughs> a three point five. <laughs> yeah. So fuck these reviewers. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> All right, let's have some fun. And here's the last one, man. Dirty Ho. Yeah. Hor horrible title. Oh, Dirty Ho, a three point five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fuck these reviewers. Seriously. 3.5, but yeah, it, it was supposed to be <laughs> off of the off of the whole dirty hairy type thing. They decided, like, hey, let's have some fun. Let's call you. Know, it's not it's not a dirty hairy clone. It has nothing to do with dirty hairy, but they just say, hey, fuck it. Let's just have some fun and call the movie Dirty Holes. <laughs> of course, when people see that title, they think it's something else. Um, but but seriously, man. Uh, let me see. I don't, I don't want to miss too many comments here. All right, let's go into it here. But Eric, Eric, it's only a 3.5 movie. It's only a 3.5 out of 5. Are you sure you're watching the same movie? <laughs> yeah. This is why me and you exist, Eric. This is our purpose, to review movies. <laughs> to review movies and let people know what's up. All right. These modern day movie reviewers, man. I don't know. I don't know. We got another fan here. Dirty Ho is the best. That's right. That's right. Oh, man. All right. Let's get to it here. Let's look at some of these screenshots for Dirty Ho. This movie is so much fun, man. <laughs> this is another Lark Hall Leung directed film. And you have Wong Yu here uh, doing his kung fu comedy shtick. And Gordon Liu, there he is. And uh, Gordon Liu. <laughs> There's corruption and there's corruption in the government, and uh, you know he's weary of his brothers uh, trying to murder him to 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 fight for who's next for the crown, basically. And so he kind of changes his identity and hooks up with uh, Wang Yu here, and uh, you know he kind of uses him in a way which is kind of fucked up at the end. He kind of uses him, but again, I'm not spoiling it for you, but. Um, but they do have this bond and connection. They end up developing, uh, later throughout the film. But what the interesting thing about this movie is you'll have sequences where again, Lockhart Leung coming up with just very original ideas. So this T sequence right here is phenomenal. So he comes in to visit, uh, to talk to the magistrate in the, in the, in the area and do his little political stuff. So... <laughs> <laughs> so on the outside, because Wong Yu is like his ward, right? So on the outside, 
uh, Wong Yu, every time he, he, th- he hears noise or something. And every time he, he's like, what, is somebody fighting? So uh, he goes and looks into the room to where they're having tea and, or no, to wine. They're drinking wine. And every time he looks in there, they're just sitting there chilling, you know, drinking wine. <laughs> and then when he's not looking, uh, Wong Yu and uh, uh, we have our homie here from Mad Monkey Kung Fu. Again, I'm terrible with names, but this guy's phenomenal, this guy right here. Uh, they're trying to assassinate Gordon Liu through this whole scene. And then when <laughs> Wong Yu looks in there, they're just sitting down drinking wine. It's so, just so original. And it took a lot of thought to go into it. And it's just very creative. And you'll have a few fight sequences like this where Gordon Liu is kind of hiding who he really is. And uh, to his to his, to his his young uh, ward here. And the fight sequence at the end is phenomenal too. It's really fun. But look at this picture, man. This picture quality is really good. But yeah, Dirty Ho is his fun. There he is, Lole. Look at him. Uh, he, Lole is literally, he's one of the greatest movie villains ever. He's one of the greatest movie villains. I mean, actors. <laughs> he's just so good at it. <laughs> he's so good at it. Uh, but yeah, this is a very fun Kung Fu comedy, but very different, original, and creative martial arts sequences um, uh, are in this. And... uh yeah, this picture is really great. Really, 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 really great. Good, great stuff. Dirty Ho is 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 fantastic. Or is it 3.5? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Woo! Phenomenal. Phenomenal set. Uh worth every penny. <laughs> Beverly Hills Ninja is the greatest American karate film. Totally awesome. Oh, Gino, he's, he's having fun over here. Oh, Shogun bought the watch. The Shogun bought the watch 36 Chambers right now. Nice. Return to 36 Chambers fun. Disciples is also fun. Um, Marshall Club. Yo, Marshall Club. Whew. Maybe that might be on the next uh, box set. But Marshall Club, the fight he has, Gordon Liu has, again, directed by Lau Carl Leung. Um, Gordon Liu has, again, Gordon Liu again playing um, Wong Fei Hung again. And the fight he has with Wang Lung Wei in this this tight corridor. And the further they go in, the tighter the corridor gets. And it's so badass. It's so creative. It's just, it's it's phenomenal stuff. So here you go, guys. Highly recommend. I mean, we don't get stuff like this. And because of sets like this and people actually putting in the hard work and giving a shit, to try to bring a new generation, new generation, uh, all these classic films, and again pleasing the old generation. Uh, you know, we have to support stuff like that. You know, and people always say, "Well, you know, physical media is dead." And for a while, I thought that, but recently, physical media has been on fire. <laughs> Horror box sets, Italian westerns, thrillers martial arts physical media recently for the past year or so is like insane it's been like it's been more on fire recently than in a while <laughs> so i don't know it may not be as dead as uh as uh people say so but yeah highly recommend it guys i mean this is this is just phenomenal stuff for sure let me go ahead and put everything back and then we can hang out and shoot the shit a little bit more and talk movies actually let me put it over here i don't want to mess with it Oh shit. So how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Again, cheers. Thanks for hanging out with the Samurai Guy tonight. I'm going to get on the sippy to sip here. It's just water. Just water today. Samurai guy's out of he's I, I'm out of the alky uh today. Uh but it's all good. Let's see. Let me go ahead and get rid of this here. There we go. Stop sharing that. All right. Got any new NECA figures? No, 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 not really. Not recently. So, uh, let's see what movie one he's live right now. You gotta love that guy, man. There we go. Marco G says that he'd buy a Cynthia Rothrock box set in a heartbeat, but would need to include, uh, the Hong Kong stuff. You know, you know what? It's funny. Cause I was talking to master chaos about this. Um, and I was in Master Cast, I was like, because I was trying to hunt down some Cynthia Rothrock DVDs. 
and uh, Master Chaos is, but it's it's hard to find. And unless you can find some things on streaming, but if it's not on streaming, it'll be some kind of bootleg or whatever. But I have one of her best Hong Kong movies called The Blonde The Blonde Fury, and I have the DVD for that. And that's discontinued. So that DVD is like five hundred dollars right now. Like it's insane. <laughs> like it's like really, it's it's nuts. It's nuts. But uh, uh, yeah, we need <laughs> Tiger Costi. I saw Master K. Oh, but yeah, I was talking to Master Cass. Master Cass said when I meant when I when I said that to him, he was like, "You remember back in the day how easy it was to find Cynthia Rothrock movies, but nobody knew that you know she was gonna blow up." as popular as she she's more popular now than than uh you know in the early 90s you know what's up roman was cracking man rashad what's going on thanks man i appreciate it all right uh but yeah uh it would be nice i mean well actually if you have an all-region blu-ray player magic crystal came out on blu-ray uh you get to see a good fight between her and richard norton hong kong style but yeah i haven't seen a blu-ray or a third party DVD of Blonde Fury since since the one I have. So uh but yeah, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff there. All right, hold on one second, guys. Give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. Hold hey, I'm back. I'm a ninja. That's right. Uh, I just got done, uh, um, babe. I just got <laughs> uh, doing the unboxing of the Shaw Brothers set. It's a work of art. It's a work of art. So thank you, baby, for buying that for me for Christmas. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold All right, I'm back. <laughs> now, there's another one. Yes, there's another release that was really good. Millionaire's Express Blu-ray uh, released. That did come out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Eureka's on fire. 88 Films, man. I'm telling you, like, again, physical media has been insane recently. Like, just wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. <laughs> Tell her Avatar's the best movie of all time. Oh man, it's her favorite movie. I got her. The, I got her the poster and everything. And uh, one day we still will do that uh, video with Rob. Of course, we just got to find some time. Let me go scroll up to see if I miss any other comments here. Yes, and don't forget, there is a, a double feature remastered release of The Prodigal Son, which is another martial arts classic, and Warriors 2. Yo, yo, Warriors 2, man. I'm telling you, that's some good shit right there. Oh, there's Rob right there. <laughs> Rob just popped up, or I just now seen him there. Yes, yes, madam. Yes, madam is legit. Police Assassins, which is a very odd title. But yeah, Yes, Madam is great. Some of the best Michelle Yeoh and Cynthia Rothrock in the same movie fighting Dick Way. And, I mean, what, what else do you want? It's phenomenal. Uh, Rob says, I want a Blu-ray box set release of Super... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I want one too, Rob. I want one too. I A buddy of mine has a bootleg. He bought a bootleg a long time ago and he showed us scenes. From the Japanese Spider-Man show, and I was like, "This is the greatest thing I've ever seen." <laughs> he turns into a mech. That's right, turns into a mech. I mean, come on, what else do you want? Spider-Man. I can't do it like Rob. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Yo, bring him in, right? Let's go. Let's bring in the uh, Spider-Man and the and the next Spider-Verse movie. Let's be. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> with the mech. Fuck it. Let him show up with the mech. 
right next to Miles Miles Mor- Miles Morales. Let's <laughs> bring him in. <laughs> oh, it's too much fun. <laughs> confirmed wait what wait hold on wait seriously <laughs> the japanese spider-man's gonna show up are you messing with me rob because <laughs> i i would be so for that it'd be hilarious you know you know who i feel sorry for rob i feel sorry for the oh my what no way japanese spider-man's gonna show up hold on hold on let, let me uh I don't know if, uh, let me see if I can find something here. <laughs> no way. Hold on, let me just bring this up here. See if we get some images. There we go. I'll do some screen share action. So those of you, those of you that are, were not, uh, no way. It's confirmed. <laughs> it's confirmed. Oh my goodness. Let's see here. Uh. All right, let me do some. So for those of you that are unaware that there was a Spider-Man Japanese show, here we go. I'm going to show some images with you here. Yeah, here we go. Let me bring this. Let me make it a little bit bigger. There you go. Yo, what's up? Yo, in in the show, y'all see this, right? <laughs> Spider-Man said, fuck it. I'm about to blow you away. Spider-Man uses a machine gun. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Spider-Man's gangster up in here and has his own mech. <laughs> oh, I see it right here. Spider-Verse 2 producer hints that Japanese... Oh, my God, Rob. Wow, Rob, you made my day. This is hilarious. But, yeah, has the mech suit, machine guns. Oh, man, this is hilarious. <laughs> this is hilarious. Hey, you never know, Rob. You never know. Um, Look at this. Look at this. This is amazing. <laughs> you never know with if it you know since it's appearing in the next spider-verse movie he's gotta he's gotta be in the mech though they got they gotta bring him in the mech <laughs> um but uh if he's in it then uh you never know that might create some buzz and maybe mill creek will uh oh you were talking about on the stream earlier nice mill creek's been knocking it out of the park with uh the, all the Ultraman releases, right? So, hey, fuck it. Give it to Mill Creek. Let them release uh, Spider-Man. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, that's, you know what? It's brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, my God. All right. Deflex zone. Deflex zone here. Deflex one. Actually like the Snake Eyes movie. There you go. All right. All right. As long as you enjoyed it, my friend. That's all that matters. Let's see. Uh, we were also discussing who would be a good Spider-Woman. And I said cast Peyton this from uh, Co- Cobra Kai. <laughs> First time ever all of chat was down. All right. Sure. Fuck it. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be fun uh, talking about Cobra Kai uh, tomorrow. So don't forget, guys. Tomorrow... At 6 p.m. Pacific time, hang out with me and Rob from Entertainment Talk Nation. And we're going to be talking some Cobra Kai Season 4 spoilers. There you go. There you go, Eric. I just answered your question. (laughs) We're going to talk about it tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific. So make sure you guys show up for that and hang out with us. Always great to have you. Sue Biderman. I got to tell Lady Fabblood. (laughs) <laughs> She's going to love it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> see if I missed any other. Uh, Vinny wants Troy versus 300, huh? That's not bad. Uh, thoughts on Morbius being delayed again? I don't. I, I'm fine with it. I don't mind it. Because remember what I said earlier, uh, once it was announced that Morbius was coming out in January, I got nervous because not not that it's a guarantee things suck when they're released in January. Sometimes good movies come out in January. But there's all there's also a thing in Hollywood called, fuck you, it's January. 
And a lot of projects that they don't have confidence in gets released in January. That they, they, they know it's like, well, there's no point in releasing this in the summertime because it's not going to be that good. <laughs> so you'll see really bad, a lot of bad horror movies and stuff like that. They all come out in January. So again, there's no guarantee it was going to suck in January. But uh, you know, I don't mind. I don't mind. Uh, you know, I'd rather wait for a, a better product, right? Than a rushed uh, something disappointment. So. <laughs> reminder avatar 2 this year well december oh man well uh, rob i know you don't want to wait that long but do you want to wait for our video before this movie comes out <laughs> i know you're probably like no no so oh my goodness uh i actually have excessive force back here marco g i actually have one of his dvds yeah Okay, okay. <laughs> the nation won't the nation won't stop though. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, you know, we'll, 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 the sooner the better, I guess then. <laughs> Rob, what if what if uh, uh, Goji said we should wait before the movie comes out and then do it. Um, what if, what if something happens, Rob? What if the unexpected comes forth and we rewatch the Blu ray and revisit it? And it's been five billion years since we watched it. What are the chances we end up liking it? You think that might happen? You never know, right? It might happen, right? We might end up loving Avatar and be like, you know what? So much time has passed. Um, it's not as bad as we thought it was. You know, do, do you guys think that will actually happen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. It's fun being in control. <laughs> no, it's still wrapped, Rob. We haven't even opened it up, man. No, no, we haven't even opened it up yet, so. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you're hanging out with us today, Sebastian. Thanks for hanging out, man. He's got the Walking Dead avatar. That's what it looks like. That's pretty cool. <laughs> now, after we watch it, she might use it as a, a coaster. <laughs> uh, it'll, it'll go in our pile of shame. Like, well, all the movies we regret buying. <laughs> It'll just go, it'll just go in that and just hidden somewhere. So in our movie collection, like nobody will see it. We'll know where it is. <laughs> WWE DVD? What's that? What's 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 up with that, Brandon? Like the sad uh, emoji. All right, Zombie Warriors get another cup of milk. It's important information. <laughs> she wouldn't do that, man. I'm just messing with you. Like I said, it'll probably go in our pile. Because we have other we have other movies. That, uh no nah, man, we'll keep that. We'll keep that for sure. It'll be a room. We'll remember it till the end of time. All right, Zombie Warriors back. We're all good now. We can we can continue to stream. <laughs> what is my best Limp Biscuit album? Oh God, chocolate starfish and the hot dog flavored water. Yeah, Fred Durst, Limp Biscuit. I don't know. I don't have one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Goji's in the house hanging out. 
Hey, but don't Rob be careful because I it's my fault. It's my fault. I started the gag gift thing. So be careful, man. She might find out a movie you hate and you might get some in the mail. <laughs> and you have to keep it. It's from the heart. You can't, you know, you, you, I don't know. I don't know. You, 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 you hear a little ding dong. You go to the door, you open it up, and then you see a package there. And you're like, ooh, it feels like a Blu-ray. And you might open it up and it, it might be Wonder Woman 84 in there. I don't know. Oh, oh! WWE discontinued their DVDs and Blu-rays. Oh boy! Well, that's sad. I still got a lot, actually. I got some box sets. Um. Oh, oh, what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How did I get involved in this? <laughs> hey, what is this? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't agree. I didn't agree to this. What is this? I don't know what's going on. Oh, now, now I'm really scared. You better not got you better not have got me snake eyes, Rob. <laughs> you better not have got me snake eyes, man. <laughs> it's snake eyes. It's snake eyes. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> oh, this is too much. It's too much fun. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. Is that their reason? Man, they ain't losing any money. <laughs> oh, they're not losing any money. They're they're just they're all about streaming now. You know, they have the they 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 have all their stuff on Peacock. Peacock. So it's kind of like, you know, they're probably not selling. So they're like, why keep making physical media? I'm not getting rid of mine. I'm keeping that shit, man. I got, I have some box sets, so. I have the WrestleMania box, the old school one, man. I have that. I'm not getting rid of that. Oh, I'm not scared, Nate. I'm ready. Bring it on, Rob. Bring it on, buddy. I'm I'm ready. <laughs> it's Snake Eyes. Rob, I wish you didn't live so far away, man. We'd be hanging out for sure. Watching movies, playing games and stuff. You been gaming, man? I've been meaning to uh, get back into gaming. I keep saying that, but I need to start actually doing it. Uh, who? Uh, I'm going to go with White Zombie. I'm going to go with White Zombie. But there's there's some good Rob Zombie stuff. What are you playing, Rob? What are you playing right now? What are you guys playing right now if you guys are doing any gaming? Uh, Sebastian says, I have my 5,000. Oh, my God. Private collection on the oh, Okay. Oh, my goodness. Hey, you know, I'm not going to argue in terms of saving room. You know, <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> you need a whole goddamn room, a whole media room with shelves and shit. Probably to display our collection. <laughs> so yeah, hey, you got it. My, my buddy's the same way, actually. He just like he sold a lot of his stuff, and he just goes digital. So I I get it. I I don't. I totally get it. Arrive on the eighth. Are you? Did you do that, Rob? Because you know my birthday's coming up. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe Zombie Warrior. I used to do Let's Plays here. So um, I don't know. It's like there's actually a playlist. You can find it. I actually did a few back in the day. Um, videos if you want to watch those. Uh, but it's kind of like do I if I start a new channel just for Let's Play Gaming where no one's going to watch or do I just do it here where majority of my audience is. So it's kind of, I don't know, which still no guarantee they're going to watch here, but uh, I don't know. It's it's risky. I'll be I'll be playing the game and like five people will view it. So yeah, I heard uh I heard a lot of good things. Joel from Media Glitch and Ra Radical Reggie 
they really liked uh, Tales of Arise, and I'm hearing good things about Hades too. Oh shit, Jax B the Ripper. I was gonna ready. I was gonna hit you up. I got an idea for a video. I think you're gonna enjoy it too. <laughs> I would have I would have contacted you today to see if we could film it, but uh, I, I I got swamped with stuff earlier. So, but yeah, I'll hit you up later tonight, Jax. I think you'll be down. <laughs> I think you'll be down to to check it out. Let's see, uh, or to do it with me for sure, because it's it's gonna be comedy. Uh, let's see, uh, Cole Chamber or Devil Driver? Uh probably Devil Driver. All right, uh, we got Flex playing near Replicant, which I heard was really good, and Ghost of Tsushima looks amazing. Oh my god! At this point, I might as well just wait till I get a PS5, which will be five years from now, and then play Ghost of Tsushima on PS5. <laughs> well, Nate Dog, I have a Twitch channel. I've had a Twitch channel for a long time, but like, I think I got like two followers. <laughs> <laughs> so mo majority of my audience <laughs> would probably want to see uh you know uh, movie content but i don't know maybe nate maybe if i start doing more gaming maybe you might be on this i'm on twitch maybe i'll get a little bit bigger following there uh let's see here justin watched licorice pizza this past weekend probably one of his favorite movies in recent years all right cool what's up geeky what's going on what games am I looking to play? All these back here that I haven't even like opened and touched and stuff. <laughs> and if anyone's curious uh, of what games I have for my PS4, I did a whole collection video. If you guys want to check that out here on the channel, I go, I show all the games I got. All right, MK's back, the legend here. Thanks for the super chat, my friend. He goes, "Hey, big dude, what's up?" Question: uh, Who do you think is more evenly matched, Scorpion versus Sub Zero? Or Daniel versus Johnny or Ken versus Ryu. Hmm. <clears throat> Man, that's that's a that's a good question because after this most no, no spoilers, sorry, a mini spoiler. After this most recent season, I could see uh Danny and and, and uh, Johnny. I don't know about Ken and Ryu because if, if you read the comics, Ken actually beats Ryu. Uh, but then later, when Ryu becomes evil, Ryu, it's like another power level. So I don't know about that one. Scorpion and Sub Zero are pretty close too. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for as of right now. Let's go for Danny and Johnny. Let's do that. Yeah, I'll hit you up later, Jax. Let's see here. Uh, Kijuwak finished the campaign for Halo Infinite. All right, all right. I have not seen the movie Pizza Man. Have any of you guys seen Pizza Man? <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Sebastian. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out and uh, listening to this uh, knucklehead talk about movies. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Kijuwak says... Uh, let's see. Ghost of Tsushima Kurosawa mode. Oh, I saw the Kurosawa mode. It was pretty awesome. The black and white. Speaking of, there's this new game coming out. It's like third person view. Well, no, it's like an isometric view, kind of. It looks like almost like an action platformer hack and slash type game. It's all in black and white, and it's straight up old school samurai movie vibes. Like, it is beautiful. I forgot the name of that game. If you guys remember the name of that game. Let me know. But I saw video for it, and I was like, this looks amazing, man. Uh-oh. Hey, uh, birthday gift for her, too, man. <laughs> there you go. Both of our birthdays are this month, so there you go. We'll consider that birthday gifts. So thank thank you, my my good man. Thank you. Even if I'm sure if it's torture, it's, 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 it's torture out of love. Uh, let's see here. Freddy versus Jason is on Tubi. All right. All right. God of War Ragnarok coming out. Probably still, the graphics probably still look good, Goji, on uh, PS4. <laughs> uh, put it this way. I will make sure 
we do a reaction video to whatever you're sending us. How's that? How's that? I will wait for both for both gifts, and we'll just do a reaction video. <laughs> uh, what is the top Quentin Tarantino movie? Oh, movies? Oh, man. Let's see. Man. I don't think I've watched a Quentin Tarantino movie that I didn't like. I like some more than others, but they're all so well made. Uh, you know what, man? I mean, I love the Kill Bill. I mean, come on, martial arts samurai homage. Uh, I like Kill Bill. I even like Inglorious Bastards. I enjoyed that. Pulp Fiction is great, but there's I don't know what it is for for me. There's something about Reservoir Dogs, man. There's just something about Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> Which is actually a remake of a Hong Kong movie called uh, City on Fire with Chow Yun Fat. Uh, but Reservoir Dogs, man, it's just, I just, I, that might be my favorite one. That might be my favorite. I'm a Django Unchained. I enjoyed that too. You know, but uh, Reservoir Dogs might be uh, probably my, my favorite there. Eric, thanks for the super chat, my friend. Uh, not a question. Just want to let you know that I have been watching. Since your Godzilla versus Kong reaction, y'all are badasses. <laughs> well, hey man, I I appreciate you know, the support and hanging out and uh, supporting the channel, man. I really do. Thanks for sticking with us. I appreciate that. Let's see. Uh, Kidwack finished Hellblade. Uh, Sonya's sacrifice. Senua's sacrifice on PS Five. Nice. All right. <laughs> Just stumbled across Kung Pao on Prime, and yes, absolutely yes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what martial art do I study? Oh, my God. That was a millennia ago <laughs> when Samurai Guy took martial arts. Uh, I went to... I'll give you a quick backstory on me. I went to... Um, it was a Bruce Lee convention, and that's where I met uh, a lot of, I met Gary Daniels there, uh, a lot of icons, took photos with him. I still got those photos, ran into Michael Jai White and all that, and uh, Jeff Speakman, that's right, the perfect weapon. Y what y'all know about the perfect weapon? Uh, Jeff Speakman uh, did it, was on stage doing a, a demonstration, doing his Kenpo demonstration, and I ran into him on the on, on my way out. And I was like, hey, man, uh, big fan. I appreciate what you've done. And it's great seeing you and all that stuff. Meeting you, you know. And he's like, hey, you're a big guy. You should take Kenpo, right? <laughs> I was laughing at it. Because at the time, I didn't think uh, I'd be any good in martial arts or, you know, I would be, like, horrible at it. Not that I'm not that I'm great or anything. I'm not I'm not in that league. Uh, but uh, uh, he got me thinking to at least take the ego away. And go in to learn, uh, go in to better, you know, not just to get a workout and strengthen your body, but to go in to learn and better yourself and take the ego out of there, you know, get it out of there. And so I chucked the ego and, uh, I, I went to a dojo, had a sensei and all that stuff. And, uh, I took, um, Shorenji Zendo Ryu Karate. Uh, for a while and um throughout that time there was not a lot not a lot but a little bit of jujitsu here and there nothing to nothing worth bragging about and uh i had a buddy of mine who was a professional muay thai uh he competed professionally he was pretty badass what's up imran so i would go over at his house and he would teach me a little bit of muay, uh, muay thai but that's it that's it that's not that's a long time ago, <laughs> long time ago. And, uh, I've actually been thinking about getting back into working out again and, uh, just doing a little bit of training on my own just to kind of do it, you know? So that was, that's, that's back in the day, back in the day. First tattoo, I believe was the Batman symbol. Yeah. The dark Knight Batman symbol from the Nolan trilogy. That was the first one. Yeah. Back in the day. Timo, I have a pocket book version of The Art of Peace. I'll tell you one thing, though. 
I miss it. I miss it. I really miss. Uh, well, for you, Sebastian, for you, not for Samurai Guy. <laughs> Everything's declining as the older I get. For you, probably. So, yeah, that's Pantera, man. Guy represent Pantera. Um, but uh, I I do miss it. I do miss learning and training, and uh, I do miss it a lot for sure. And and uh, if if I if 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 I was, I'll be honest. Uh, growing up in high school, or I was younger, and if mixed martial arts were was more of a thing. Uh, where you can take, where it would be easy. You could just take, go in and take classes and learn. I would, I would do that. I would do that for sure. Like, I don't know if I would compete, <laughs> but just to go in to learn and train, I would do that because I, 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 I miss it. I miss uh, working out with people, training, and you only learn by getting your ass kicked. <laughs> so I'm telling you, that's why, that's why it's always great when you're learning a new style, you're learning from a new teacher, you're training with people, you got to chuck the ego away, man. Because if, especially if you want to improve and learn, uh, because, uh, you learn, you learn by getting beat up. You know, when I was training with, uh, my, uh, Muay, uh my buddy, who's a Muay Thai, uh, the Muay Thai guy, I thought I had decent defense. <laughs> <laughs> and he just kept popping me in the head whenever he wanted. And I was like, all right, cool. Now I know my defense sucks at this moment. So I got to work on it. That's the way you learn, right? You learn how to, oh, that's how I got submitted or how, oh, okay. Well, all right. So you learn from your mistakes, you know? So that I, I do miss it though. I, I do miss it. So <laughs> old man power is legit. That's right. Fuck it. <laughs> How many band tattoos I have? I think it's just uh, the two. Metallica, Pantera. And on, uh, I have Carl Urban's Dread on my arm. And on the badge, instead of it saying Dread, it says Anthrax because of their song, I Am The Law. So uh, that's it so far. That's it. Yeah, we already went through it, Severio. Uh, we went through the, bo the box set. Uh, my background is mutt. That's right. I am a mutt. I'm everything. <laughs> oh, look at that. Bill Superfoot Wallace was legit, man. And it's it's another, another uh, how, I t how I keep talking about how I kind of miss training and, and miss martial arts is all of the wonderful, awesome guests I've been having here on the channel, on the podcast, and seeing their physiques and their and their training videos. Because, you know, Samurai guys got to do research and stuff. And I'm just like, dude, these guys are amazing. You know, I would, that's another reason why I miss it. Because it's like, man, I wish I could train with these guys or uh, learn, you know. But it's, it's great having so many people here on the channel. This morning at 11 a.m., if you guys missed it, I had uh, Michael Hode on here hanging out with me and uh very 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 cool dude man he likes what we like action martial arts horror he's he's family he's one of us uh but yeah he's very skilled uh martial arts dude so if you missed that episode make sure you guys check it out uh we did that i had to do it early in at 11 a.m because he's in, from the uk so <laughs> it's the only way we can uh uh well thank you sebastian yeah thank you uh well thanks mk appreciate it man <laughs> 1996 dread on my t-shirt i know right all right hold on disappearing hold on i'm back i'm back oh my god can you imagine richard norton i'm jealous of everyone who trained with richard norton man like seriously I'm back. Sorry. What's up, John? And I ran into uh Supiderman. I ran into uh <laughs> um Benny the Jitter Kitas. Was it three times I ran into him or twice? I'm trying to remember. 
It was three, two or three times I ran into him. That dude's bad. That's a bad dude, man. I would love to to work out with that dude or train. That's it. I now want looking at these screenshots of uh, Spider Man. I I now, I now want I, I want on a t shirt. <laughs> I want on a t shirt. Spider Man shooting the machine gun, and that's it. I don't want any any text or dialogue. There, this. I want this on a t shirt. That's it. <laughs> Just to fuck with people and confuse them. After they, they look at it, they're going to be like, what the hell? Why is Spider-Man shooting a machine gun? Yeah, I want this. Yes, on a shirt. That'd be that'd be brilliant. Nike or Adidas, huh? Ooh. Pumas, man. Pumas. Why? That's all we could afford back in the... <laughs> Sasha Mitchell. That guy got like huge. He he must have got tired of people making fun of him. Sasha Mitchell. He just got really buff or like out of nowhere. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I should make it a t shirt. <laughs> Oh, that would be great. Just wear that and just walk around and then not say nothing. You get in line at the post office or whatever. You just, people are just like, the fuck? <laughs> oh, I say, are Batman and Spider-Man your two favorite superheroes? Did you read the comic uh, with them? Well, I grew up with the, the comics for sure back in the old days. Uh, yeah, big fans of both. Favorites of all time? I don't know. I mean, Batman's close. Uh, for being up there and I, I love spider-man man i used to collect spidey comics all the time back in the day but uh you know i just really got into that the x-men comics and uh wolverine was my guy i mean come on <laughs> that was just my guy uh but uh spidey's awesome too uh timo is playing monster hunter tonight all right If I put that on a t-shirt, if we did put text on it, what should it say? <laughs> if I put Japanese Spider-Man shooting a machine gun on a shirt, should it have a fu- should it have funny dialogue or something? Or like a fake uh, M- Spider-Man movie title or something? <laughs> Spider-Man No Way Home or something. Say hello to my little friend. I don't know. We have to have something funny. Oh, cool. Yeah, he's got, Tony's got three box sets. <laughs> he's got three of them. He actually might have the um, the American version too. So make sure you guys check out his video because it might it might look different. I'm not sure. So, Oh, Rob likes Wolverine. That's right. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to not like Wolverine. <laughs> but, you know, not everybody likes Wolverine. So favorite pro wrestling stables? Well, it, when NXT was amazing, uh, when it was before it turned into garbage, I was a big fan of the Undisputed Era. I liked them back in the day. Well, not back in the day because it wasn't that long ago. But yeah, we got when NWO was good, I enjoyed NWO. Heart Foundation. When when we had heel Brett, that's because we had Bulldog, Owen Hart, Brian Pillman. Favorite super villain. Oh, man. Yikes. Hmm. I'd have to think on that one. Here's a super villain I want to see on the big screen, though. I want to see Omega Red. I want to see badass... Omega Red on the big screen, man. That's what I want. <clears throat> right? Right? We have come a long way. <laughs> I should say, say hello to my little friend. 
Oh. Ah, John recently attended the uh, Ginger concert. If I said that name wrong, I'm sorry. In December. All right. Nice. All right. Cool. Oh, uh, Bandai actually made those shirts? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, shit. Heart Foundation, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That was one of the best stables, man. You had the loose cannon, Brian Pillman with all those guys. That was that was great. I wanted, I wanted a, the Heart Foundation jackets that they were. I wanted those jackets were sick, man. <clears throat> um, I loved the NWO Wolfpack theme song, but uh, do I still have that in here? Hold on, I still have that in here. You guys remember this? I still have that in here. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, you know, NWO Wolfpack was way cooler, but they botched it too quickly. They botched that man. They had fucking Sting and Lex Luger in there. The fuck is Lex Luger being in the NWO Wolfpack? They but they, they they destroyed it. It was horrible. Uh, Gen D Generation X was fun. They were fun. I heard, I heard uh, William Regal got released and some other people as well. Doomsday or Joker, there you go. Those are good picks, MK. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad AEW is getting a following. That's good. It takes a real man to wear pink. The pink and black attack is back. That was a horrible line. Who wrote that for Brett? Brett, Brett, what are you doing? I love Brett, though. Brett was my favorite, for sure. Uh, yes. Yes, I'm going to. I'm going to. It's going to take forever. Because <laughs> last year, man, you think about it. Last year, I, like, I was streaming and doing videos almost every day. So it's going to be really hard to do. <laughs> uh, it's going to take a while. That's all I'm saying. So. Oh, Road Dog. That's right. He was the other one. Um, Regal, Regal. I'm. I don't want nobody to get fired. But I, 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 William Regal's great. But NXT sucks now. So it's like, why keep him around, right? Um, it's not his fault. But but Road Dog. I'm surprised he got fired because that's Triple H's boy right there. I'm kind of surprised that happened. Undertaker, legit. Undertaker's the man. He's the man. I remember Lucha Underground. My buddy Edgar hit me up about it. Uh, that was some fun stuff, man. I, I saw the... Uh, uh, what's his name? It was our boy Vampiro. Vampiro Vamp versus... Oh, my God. What's his name? The, the, the oh, I forgot his name. <laughs> but they had a hardcore match, and it was great. But, yeah, a lot of, a lot of good talent came out of there. I have not, John. <laughs> I know I'm fired. I'm fired. Joel's in the house. The, the The king is back. The king is back. What's going on, brother? We already did it, man. We already did the unboxing. Hey, brother. You might want to look into getting that set, man, because old school Shaw Brother movies, bro, they're, they're, they're really going all out, remastering them, and the box set is beautiful, man. So I don't know. I don't know. You might want to start uh, looking into it and, and collecting some stuff. Don't forget to add in the punch from the Karate Kid remake stream. <laughs> oh, no, that's going to go in there. That's going to go in there. It's just going to take a long time. <laughs> just give me a taste, huh? All right. All right. So it comes in this beautiful box. Really quick for Joel. Beautiful case. This amazing thick booklet with all kinds of awesome photos, uh, behind the scenes stories on each movie and stuff like that. Great stuff. And here is the meat and potatoes right here. 
Now, this is the UK one, uh, Joel, so I'm not sure if the American one's different, but there, there's sleeves in here. But yeah, it's heavy, this great artwork on there. And all the movies are inside with beautiful artwork like this, man. Check this out. This is, like, amazing. There you go. Tons of special features, beautiful artwork, restorations. Every movie's in here, man. Well, I mean, has has, has been... Uh, remastered with tons of shit tons of stuff and uh it even comes with soundtracks bro two discs two discs of music <laughs> but here i'll read off uh what's in here really quick so you'll know what's in the least volume one because this has been selling so well that I, there are there's already talks of a volume two but we got in here i got it right in front of me what do I, so we got king boxer uh, the Boxer from Shang Tan, Five Shaolin Masters and Shaolin Temple, The Mighty Peking Man, <laughs> which is hilarious, Challenge of the Masters, Executioners from Shaolin, Chinatown Kid, both versions, I didn't know that, both versions of Chinatown Kid are on here, The Five Venoms, Crippled Avengers, Heroes of the East, and Dirty Ho. And uh, on the back here is the two discs for the music selections from some of the movies so yeah man it's first class and we looked at some of the we looked at with the blu-ray.com earlier and we checked out the screenshots and the picture quality is pretty good so but yeah um they're selling on amazon joel they're selling on amazon so but yeah it's uh insane the brood man the brood one of the greatest theme songs ever that's what's funny about seeing edge coming out with that now the brood was was definitely a uh a, a stable they shouldn't have they shouldn't have botched that they should have let it go a lot longer so because i enjoyed that yes lwo yes <laughs> lwo man oh my god that's true that's a good point. We were. We were, yeah. You may, you may have cried a little. <laughs> and it's and it's not just that. It's like if you have an all-region Blu-ray player, Joel, 88 films in Eureka are remastering more Shaw Brother movies and all old school kung fu classics, dude. Like, but you need an all-region player. Actually, you know what? I think now you can start buying 88 films over here in America now. I think that they, they, it's been selling so well that they, they're they releasing it domestically now. So you can look up 88 films, man. I think Legendary Weapons of China is coming out soon. So, yeah, look those up too as well. Bob the Burkle Cut is in the house. What's going on, brother? I do. I remember when Stone Cold was the ringmaster. <laughs> right, Jax? Right? The brood, the brood should have been around way longer, man. Yeah, Marco G. Yeah, I know. I I don't blame you. Yeah, the Mighty Peaky Man is hilarious. Oh shit, dude, you're good. You're good then. You're perfect. Yeah, Eureka is a company, and eighty eight films. They're remastering all kinds of, and and they're 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 doing their own little collector sets and stuff like Jackie Chan's Armor of God. I mean, young master, like police. I mean, it's nuts, man, what they're doing over there right now. Did you get the eight disc or ten? I think this is the limited edition. So this is uh, this is everything in it. I think this is uh, yeah. Well, counting the two CDs. It's it's ten disc if you want to count it that way. Unless there's another version out there I don't know about. But I'm I'm happy with the one I got, so let's see. Uh I'm missing some comments. Hold on, guys. Favorite finisher in wrestling? Chokeslam, Jackknife Powerbomb. That was some good stuff. Yeah, yeah.
were we supposed to review the funny man, Bob? I don't even remember, man. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I must've forgot about it. Yeah. The two red discs, those are the soundtracks. So there's, wait, what, there's another, there's more. Let me look this up. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Arrow. Shaw. Scope. 12 disc. <sighs> let's see. There we go. Maybe I'll click on this one here. Let's see what we got here. Let me do some screen share so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Twelve Shaw Brother classics. So it's twelve movies, but it's 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 uh not twelve discs. Because some some discs have two movies on them, Joel. But yeah, it's uh yeah, it's just definitely just really good quality. Uh, Jake the Snake was not in True and They Live. <laughs> Unless he is, and I missed it. Uh, I have not seen the book of Boba Fett. I heard. I I got a feeling me and Lady Fabbo will probably just binge through all of it and do a, do a video on it. I heard the second episode was really good. The Pedigree, that was a good finisher. Put him in a body bag. Yeah. I should try to find that clip and always keep it in stream yards. I can play. <laughs> the stunner or diamond cutter, huh? Oh, man. I'm going to go diamond cutter. <laughs> diamond cutter. The harder question is diamond cutter or RKO. That's interesting. That's a that's a that's an interesting one. Please review the funny man. I know I was a little off judgment day, but I promise funny man will will make your day. I think OGP was down to review it. Oh, well, I I I don't I don't even remember us talking about it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, we got from Twitch. What's going on? Would you rather see Tarantino remake the old school martial arts movies or do you like the idea of continuing to scan the old school movies in today's tech. Uh, well, if he if Quentin did remake the old school martial arts movies, that's going to take a long time because <laughs> there's too many. It's probably easier to just remaster them for a new audience. That was an interesting question, though. But I think uh, didn't Tarantino say uh, his last? He's going for ten movies, right? And then he's then he's retiring or something like that. All right, Joel likes Book of Boba. Sweet. <laughs> I know. DDP's music, it was bootleg, uh, smells like uh, teen spirit. I'm going to go with Last Ride. Batista Bomb's good. I'm going to go with Last Ride, though. Radical Reggie, what's going on, brother? Joel was with it, and he's my ace, so I grabbed the piano player, and I punched him in the face. He, he's spitting bars already. <laughs> What's up, brother? I hope you're doing well, man. Obi-Wan Kenobi's up in the house. What's going on? Honor with, it's a movie called Honor with Rowdy Piper. I don't know if I've seen that one. So AEW's on TBS now. Huh. Interesting. Did Goldberg have two finishers? Um, I don't know if you count the spear. <laughs> All right, Marco, have a good night, man. Have a good one, Marco. Get some rest, my friend. Who would win in a match? Adam Cole or Shawn Michaels? Oh, man. <sighs> hmm. 
Well, if you if you booked Adam Cole right, you know anybody could beat Sean. You know you got to book him right though. I don't know how they're booking Adam Cole now, and uh, you know you got to make him important. <laughs> I don't know how the booking of him is now in AEW because Adam Cole he's very talented, but if they don't book him right, he's just an, he, he he'll just be another guy sitting in the back, unfortunately. I uh, have not seen the Godzilla anime on Netflix. It's good, huh? All right. I have not seen that one. Does anyone know if the eight disc version comes with the book? I don't know. Let me let me uh, look that up. Hold on. Let me see. Let's see eight disc version. I don't know if I've even seen the eight disc one. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if that came out yet. I just saw they're probably just advertising the limited edition first. And then once that sells out, they'll probably do the eight disc. Eight disc one probably won't come with uh Mighty Peaky Man. They probably they probably gave that one the boot. I've seen uh the ending to What If. I I, I like some of the episodes. It was kind of fun. Who would win, Van Dam or Seagal? <laughs> On the street, I'm gonna give it to Seagal. In the ring, I'm gonna give it to Van Dam. Outsider's Edge was good, but the best though was uh, when he would do the Outsider's Edge and they'd land on the back of their head and then flip over. Those were the best ones. Uh, first time guy, in your opinion, what wrestler had the biggest impact on the wrestling industry? The biggest impact, huh? Hmm. Oh, okay, that makes sense, Joel. They just don't have the soundtracks in there. Okay, well, that's there. You go. I mean. The soundtracks are awesome, but I mean, it's all about the movies. That's all you really need, really. But what's on Volume Two? That's what I want to know, man. I don't, I don't know. Do you guys have you guys heard of Volume Two's list is out yet, or because I guess I could try to look it up. Let's see. Uh, biggest impact. Ugh. I hate that I have to say this, but it's it's Hulk Hogan. <laughs> I hate that I have to say that, but it's Hulk Hogan. He made, he did make, uh, I just got a message right now. Uh, Phoenix from AEW just broke his arm getting choke slammed through a table. I don't know if you guys knew that right now. If you guys are watching wrestling right now, <laughs> holy shit, that sucks. Hopefully he recovers. Yikes. I wonder who did the choke slam. Uh, definitely, in terms of making it mainstream, it's Hogan. Um, let's see. I would say probably Sean and Brett around that, the new generation era, kind of evolved it. You notice a lot of wrestlers now, uh, they kind of wrestle like Brett and Sean now. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, except, you know, a lot more. There's a lot more flips and crazy shit that they could do now, which is like insane when you see these guys' athletic ability. Uh, but on a technical level, it'd be Brett for sure. Um, let's see here. Let me make you guys I'm still trying to catch up on you guys' stuff here. Roddy Piper or CM Punk when it comes to promo? Oh man, that's a good one. Shit, you could throw in Flair too. Uh, that's tough because Punk's really good. Uh, but I got I got to go with the man that started it, man. I'm I'm Piper biased. <laughs> Undertaker or Triple H? I got to go with Taker, man. There's a reason that Undertaker is the judge at Wrestler's Court. Have you guys heard of Wrestler's Court? This is a real this is a real thing. So if other wrestlers kind of if there's beef or something like that. They will all go to a room and settle it. And the judge was the undertaker. <laughs> so there you go. Enough said. No holds barred. 
Luchasaurus did it. Oh no, man, he probably just landed wrong. Hopefully, he's okay. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully, he'll be all right. Are we talking about is that question about Hogan, Nate? Yeah, here we go. I saw highlights of their first match. And this is what I'm talking about being the whole technical style of wrestling where they're telling a story in the ring. That's from Brett. That's from Brett and uh, a lot of the other talented wrestlers around that time. That's hard to do. It's hard to tell a story in the ring by just wrestling. Not, you don't even need the plot leading up to it, but in the ring. Stone Cold was great, too. He was definitely great on the mic. CM Punk is the greatest UFC fighter of all time. That's right. <laughs> I remember Thunder in Paradise, Heather. I remember. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, that's some comedy right there. Thunder in Paradise is comedy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Which movies? Are you talking about the box set? Are you, are you giving in? Are you doing it, Joel? Are you giving in? Happy New Year to you, Tribal Chief. Um, do it, Joel. Come on. Do it. Do it. Uh, yeah, big, uh, Scott Steiner's still alive, yeah. I think his son is Braun Breaker. They're calling him Braun Breaker. I think he's wrestling in NXT right now. I heard he's good. I remember, <laughs> I remember the Sprite commercial with Sting. I remember that. <laughs> Do it, Joel. Come on, man. Come on. And you know you're going to get volume two and three and four. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's just such a beautiful set, dude. So it's like, you know, it's we got to support people who actually give a shit. What's that smell? Dookie. Dookie. <laughs> That's on Blu-ray, Reggie. Did you know that? <laughs> no, it's Barnes on Blu-ray. Oh, Braun Breaker won the title. Okay. There you go. Uh, Goji. Thanks for the super chat, Goji. He says, favorite Rocky movie. Uh, mine is a tie between Rocky 2 and 3. All right. Check it out. There you go. Giving Rocky 2 some love. There you go. Uh, I think Retro Leo, I believe Rocky II was his favorite. So, yeah, nice. Artisan, what's going on, man? Thanks for popping in for a bit. All these legends hanging out. I'm buying, I'm buying that for you for your birthday, Reggie. I'm getting you, I'm getting you no holds barred. <laughs> Hey, let's be honest. Hogan's been in worse movies, so you can actually sit back and watch Noel's Bar. <laughs> it felt like a tournament movie, you know? Didn't that feel like kind of like a tournament movie? Zeus going around destro destroying all challengers. Zeus. The worst ever was when Zeus, the character of Zeus, showed up in WWE. What were they thinking? What, what were they thinking? Hogan is not thunder. I almost said thunder lips. Hogan is not. What's his name in No Holds Barred, guys? Rip. He is not Rip. <laughs> he is Hogan. But Zeus, the character, showed up. Like, what is going on? It's Zeus. Oh, that's so funny. All right, hold on. I'm trying to catch up to you guys. Hold on, hold on. Um. Do I have any Van uh, Damn movie collections? I think I have a, a a box set that's got like a few of them in there. Thoughts on Rocky five and six? Uh, I love. I really like Rocky Balboa. Rocky five is not good, but there's parts of it I like. I actually do like it. Let's see. Bat from Sting or Sledgehammer from Triple H? I'm going Bat with from Sting. Why? 
Because every time Triple H used the goddamn sledgehammer, he would always cover it with his hand. <laughs> and he would hit, hit the guy palm first. Like, what are you doing? But, uh... Wraith passed away? I don't know Wraith passed away. Really? Yeah, there you go. Mr. Nanny. Yeah, that... <laughs> I have not done the reverse Redford yet. I've not. Goji, thanks for getting super chat. Um, it's it's gonna be Rocky Three, man. I just love Rocky Three so much. But I like all of them. You know, Rocky Two's got some great stuff, and the first one is the the best picture winner, and four is amazing. And and uh, Rocky versus Drago, the the cut that came out last year is great. It's really good. Was it that bad? I barely remember it. Which one are you talking about? No Holds Barred? Rate of all Hulk Hogan's movie video? Ugh. I don't know if I'm going to want to torture myself, Jax. <laughs> He's been in some puke, man. Uh, yes. Do you guys remember this? The uh, scene in Gremlins 2 <laughs> in the movie theater? Who's messing with the projection, brother? He was like sitting in the audience. He was yelling at them for fucking up the movie. Who would win in a fight? Hulk Hogan or John Cena? Are you talking about a legit street fight? I'll, I'll, I'll go with John. I'll go with John. Suburban Commando. Again, there's worse Hogan movies than Suburban Commando. Uh, it's going to be a while before we do the, uh, another Versus. Samurai guy's got a, a lot of stuff to I got to do next week, so we got to put that on hold for a little bit. So, yeah, he sh Re Reggie he showed up. It wasn't Tiny Lester showing up to challenge Hogan. The character of Zeus from the movie showed up. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense, you know. But it was like, oh my god, it's Zeus. The only the only thing that was hilarious was, and of course, Tiny Lister couldn't wrestle. He was, he was terrible. Uh, but the only thing that was funny was Macho Man and uh, uh, since uh, Scary Sherry were like with Zeus a lot, so they were doing most of the talking. That was all brilliant stuff. But uh, yeah, Zeus, man, what in the world? Uh, the Rocky Ford uh, versus Drago cut was great. It's really good, really good. I'm nostalgic for the the the, <laughs> the old cheesy one because I watched it a billion times as a kid. So I, obviously I like that an inch more than the director's cut, but director's cut's really good, man. A lot of that, a lot of cheesy stuff was taken out, so it's it's kind of crazy, but it's still good. It's really good. Uh, it's good, man. They're, they're, it's good, Joel. Really good. <laughs> what was that? Was that Hogan's nose best? Uh, yeah, I, I have. I own both the Creed movies. I enjoy those. Goji, thanks for the super chat, man. Is that, please do kaiju related verses. It's been a while. Yeah, we should. We should do one in the future for sure, Goji. Yeah. Do you guys remember the 80s Hulk Hogan cartoon? What was it? Rockin' Wrestling or something like that? <laughs> where, <laughs> where all the wrestlers were like jamming at the end of each episode. <laughs> just play, Like Andre the Giant was on drums and shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh my thoughts on Jim Cornette, he makes me laugh. Jim Cornette makes me laugh. I respect Jim Cornette, but sometimes uh you know, I don't I don't agree with everything he says, especially on modern day wrestling. Sometimes he brings up some really good points on modern day wrestling, but sometimes I'm like, "Okay, Jim. <laughs> okay, Jim." Uh, but he makes me laugh sometimes with his rants. So, Hulk, yeah, Hulk Hogan rock and wrestling or something like that. Oh my god, it's up there with the Rambo cartoon. <laughs> you know what tripped me out was the uh, the Rambo cartoon had the actual score from the movies throughout that cheesy cheese fest. That tripped me out because I forgot all about that. And I was watching a YouTube video on it, and it had the same Jerry Goldsmith song <laughs> music throughout. This It's so, so weird. It's so weird. It's so bizarre. Uh, who would win in a fight, uh, Marvel Hulk or Hulk Hogan? <laughs> oh, come on, Marvel Hulk, man. You destroy him. 
Let's see here. That's all I remember is them in a band jamming at the end. Like everybody, Hogan was on the bass or something, like <laughs> singing or something. What's bad though is like not all the wrestlers, I think, did their voices, which is kind of a waste. Like I think they had somebody else uh, do Roddy Piper's voice or something. I'm like, come on. But uh, yeah, it's crazy, dude. I mean, the actual real score from the movies was for the cartoon. It's so weird. <laughs> he broke his neck. Got Hogan convulsing. The Hogan convulse. <laughs> no, <Nah>, brother, no. <laughs> oh, I mean, all I got to say is I miss Macho Man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, I think I watched a few episodes of the Karate Kid cartoon. You guys remember that? I remember it very, very, very little bit. Yeah. Kyle O'Reilly, Kyle O'Reilly, baby. You know, I've only seen Seven Swords once, Bob, and I was kind of disappointed in it, but I want to give it another shot. I want to watch it again. I like the Donnie Yen fight at the end, but everything else seemed a little disappointing for some reason. But like I said, I, I'd like to I'd like to revisit that. So, which wrestler did Chucky talk crap to again? Uh, I think that was Rick Steiner, and it was that was atrocious. <laughs> Chucky, I'm not making this up, guys. I don't know if you guys knew this. Rick Steiner's in the ring on the mic and on the TV screen because it was around Halloween Havoc. Chucky with the, the real Chucky was on the screen talking shit to <laughs> Rick Steiner. And Rick Steiner's had this horrible comeback. He's like, "You just bring your raggedy air, your raggedy air, <laughs> your raggedy air horribleness." It was so bad. Oh my god! It's like, dude, how do you how do you sell that, man? You're watching scenes from the director's cut. Oh, what? Wait, watch the Apollo scene, bro. The Apollo scene's way more brutal. He falls twice in that. And Drago taunts Apollo Creed a lot more. Yeah, check that out. Funeral scenes completely different. Yeah, there's it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. So, right, right. There you go. Now we're talking. Did you guys know Hulk Hogan was pissed off about this because after WrestleMania, this is all people were talking about was this match. <laughs> and Hogan was like mad. It's like Hogan, come on, man. You're still the star. Stop whining. Let's see. Uh, what do we get here? Yes. Oh, my God. There's a video out there. There's a video out there with tons of, like, Hogan lies, like Hogan bullshit quotes, like he actually said, that was all fake. And one of them, I think, was this. Like, he was uh, supposed to be Metallica's new basis. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Brother, oh brother, oh my God! Can you imagine? Excellent, brother. Can you imagine just seeing him on stage with Metallica? Do you know how horrible that would be? Now I wish it happened. Now, <laughs> uh, thanks Goji for the super chat, man. Uh, do Godzilla's Revenge versus Gamera the Super Monster. And do the same thing you did with the Last Jedi versus Sky. We're like best of the worst, huh? You know, best of the worst one. That might be funny. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's probably Bride of Chucky came out around that time. Or is either Bride or Seed? Oh my God, it was so bad. <laughs> hey, I I have been pleased. I have been very pleased. Yes, and we'll talk more about it tomorrow for sure. I remember Visionaries. Yeah, toys of the eighties were amazing for sure. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my god, that's really funny. You know, I get asked this a lot, <laughs> and I sat down and watched it with Lady Fab Blood uh, a while back. And after I got over, I'm like, okay, all right. For believe it or not, Hillary Swank. And Mr. Miyagi actually have some pretty, pretty decent chemistry. It was kind of funny, their back and forth. And I actually, 
I didn't really mind Hillary Swank. I didn't I didn't mind her uh, at all. I was fine with all that. But then I watched the rest of the movie, and we got monks dancing, right? We got monks getting down, dancing, and I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> and the worst of all with new, uh, Next Karate Kid was they were at the prom, and Michael Ironside's minions, what did they do? They uh, repelled from the rooftop in the gym all the way down to make this big scene on the dance floor. And I was like, okay, this is ridiculous, but I guess we're going to have a fight. And no, no, we didn't have a fight. They just repelled all the way down. And and they were like, our our teacher, I'm going to call Michael Ironside because it doesn't matter. Our teacher said we should do this. And I was like, I looked at Lady Fabla and I said, fuck this movie. <laughs> fuck this movie. I got on board. I was like, fuck it. All right, we got a female now. Let's go. I'm sure. Hey, let's see if she could be badass and, and, and be cool and. I liked her with Mr. Miyagi. I liked it. But the rest of the movie failed everyone. <laughs> I was like, what is this garbage? What is this horribleness? But I tell you, I tell you what, if she does show up in the next season, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate it. I actually won't I wouldn't mind it. So it's not her fault. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh let's see. Do I listen to Ghost? Uh yeah, I got a I got a few ghost albums. I saw them live way back. They were opening for uh, Mastodon. And me and my buddy went to go see Mastodon and Opeth. And Ghost, this is way before they were even popular, uh, Ghost came out. And we were like, Who are, what, is, what is this? Like, we were like, what is this? And then they started playing. I was like, I was grooving. I was grooving with it. I was like, all right. But, uh, yeah. All right, let me catch up to you guys. Hold on. All right, Sean, get some sleep, brother. Monks bowling, like what the fuck? Like what is happening? Big booby swank. Yes. Uh I did don't I did notice that as well. I was like, oh, did she get a reduction? What what happened here? I was like, well, okay, that kind of caught me off guard there. Lamb of God or hate breed? Oh, that's tough. I like hate breed. I I I'll go with Lamb of God though. Because laid to rest, I I just love that song. Uh, I think I have Nighthawks on, on Blu-ray. Yeah. That's a solid thriller. Yeah, fuck it. Like, I, again, like, if, even if Michael Ironside showed up and, and Swank showed up, <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate it as long as it was done right. Uh, but uh, that movie failed. Like, <laughs> everyone that is so bad. <laughs> I was like, okay, they're repelling down in 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 the prom to fight. Oh no, they're just standing there. Why? <laughs> oh, thanks for the super chat, Goji. Uh, uh, am I remembering this wrong, or did they say Daniel died off screen in the next Karate Kid? Uh, did you remember that? I don't think they. No, I don't think they said that. That would have been really bad. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna embarrass you on camera. Uh. I'm gonna embarrass you on camera. What? <laughs> oh no! Hi. He's here. Hey, what's going on? Mm. Oh man, I get the, the lips too. Lord, <laughs> oh, man, we we gonna have to end it now. I'm shutting it off now. I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Lady Fat Blood. Hi. Hey. What's going on? We're just chilling, talking about what uh, are we talking about? Everything, wrestling, movies, video games, all that. Travel Chiefs, like what? Enjoy, enjoy being blinded by my whiteness. That's what you do. That's what. <laughs> Heather says hi. Hi. Zombie Warrior says hey. This is your daily lady fat blood ASMR that I swore to God I would never do, but I think it's fun now. <laughs> do it. Hi. How you doing? How's it going? I'll do ASMR. Hi. ASMR. What is it called? How's it going? ASMR. How's it going? How's it going? How's everybody? Hi. How's uh, it going? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, that would be pretty sad if uh, we got more viewers from that. That'd be really bad. Uh, oh, kids, whack, Lady fat blood. Hi. Yeah. There we go. Hi. 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 Everybody chiming in 
We were talking about booby swank. Oh, booby swank. Yeah. Oh, Max. Why? Max making it. Oh, I'm going to the way. There you go. Max making a cameo. What's up, brother? What's up, man? You you my buddy? Are you my buddy? Oh, you hanging out? Boop. He's blind. Put me down. All right. We got another one. Man, I must have been good today. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> Daniel did die. He chose the path of the dark side. Car dealership. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And terrible children. All hail Queen Fat Blood. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Reza says hello. Uh, thanks, John, for the super chat. Oh, I, I saw the message. Edgar. You broke his arm. He broke his arm. Wait, who, who which message did you have? It was COVID. Oh shit. No, it was uh Lucha Brothers. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, he broke his arm. Jesus. Oh, is he okay? He's better now. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. Was, okay. But I didn't uh, I figured you might want to tell me about this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, John says, what's up? Hi. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Shadow of Intent made a cover of Laid to Rest. Really? Is it good? Was it any good? All right, I'm catching up on you guys' chats now. I'm scrolling down. What's going on, Bray? What's cracking? All right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What else we got here? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> let's see uh happy new year to you oh he's saying happy new year to max for the next kaiju episode you should do gappa versus gorgo huh hmm maybe i gotta it's good it's good, probably gonna be a while but uh yeah we'll see what's up with the whole uh versus episodes yeah Got to bring it back for this year, for sure. Yeah, we got to do that. All right, cool, John. I got to check that out, man, for sure. <laughs> man, I got to definitely check out. There's so many metal albums. There's just so many. I got to catch up. I got to catch up. Oh, man. Hold on one second. Oh, hearing the cats whining. Sweet. All right. All right, I'll get back to you guys. <laughs> Cats are like probably feed us. I know, right? I remember the time Robocop showed up to WCW. 
to rescue Sting. It was hilarious. Oh, man. Uh, Stephen King Sleepwalkers. Man, it's been a while. It's been a while since I, I think I remember liking it. I, I, I remember it making me laugh. Godzuki or Manila? <laughs> I saw that. I saw that uh, uh, everything, everywhere, everything all at once trailer with Michelle Yeoh. Yeah, I saw that. That looks like it might be a cool movie, man, for sure. Definitely. What movies are you guys looking forward to this year? I got to check the list to see what's coming out this year for sure. Thanks for the super chat, Nate Dogs. It says metal has been coming back in the past decade. Good. Nice. Nice. John says lifeblood album from brand to sacrifice i need to i need to catch up yeah a buddy of mine uh nate basically uh told me about that group man i was like i gotta watch this i gotta i gotta listen to these guys man because they're all they did songs uh representing berserk but uh yeah All right, Kijuak. It's all good, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, Trump showed up. I think it was, uh, he had beef with Vince McMahon. And I think it was, uh, I'm trying to remember. It was, uh, I guess, whoever wins the match. Basically, uh, you have to shave his head. I think Vince ended up shaving, shaving his head. <laughs> yeah, hopefully Black Adam's good, man. Yeah. Remember when, uh, oh, Terrifier 2. Yes. Yes, for sure. Remember when Stone Cold stunned stun Trump? Did he? I don't even remember. <laughs> it looks so bad. His toupee almost fell off. Oh, no. I don't remember that. I mean, I was, it's been a while for sure. Really? Well, now I got to go back and look it up now. Oh, my goodness. So, So if that's true... And Daniel did die. Then they they can't. Then four is not canon. Then next Karate Kid's not canon. They can't pull any characters because it wouldn't make any sense, right? Uh, Severia's so looking forward to Jurassic World Dominion. All right, Artisans intrigued for the new Batman movie. We got Thor: Love and Thunder. ECW, WWF, Raw 90s. Yep. Classic era, man. <laughs> That's funny, man. I don't know why I don't remember Stone Cold giving Trump the stunner. That's actually his real hair. <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin was the special guest referee for the Battle of the Billionaires match. The same match that Austin stunned. Oh, okay. That makes sense. John says, also check out Lorna Shore and the EP. And I return to nothingness. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Bob, we're going to talk about it tomorrow, man. 6 p.m. Pacific time. Me and Rob are going to do spoilers. Hopefully Moon Knight's good, man. Hopefully Moon, Moon Knight's legit. I'm waiting for a live-action Marvel show where I'm just like, I got to watch that again. You know? Like, I'm waiting. 
I'm waiting to be blown away, you know, like, dude, like kind of how everybody was with uh, the Mandalorian, right? Uh, I want that with a live action Marvel show. I want to have that same feeling. So hopefully it's good. Oh, it's versus Umaga. Okay, and that's sounding familiar now, the Umaga versus Lashley match. Karate Kid part. Yagi tells Julie about the legacy by Lightning Boy. Huh. What's up, Splinter and I? What's cracking? Uh, he's catching up with the the show, so I don't know if he'll be able to finish it in time. <laughs> Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. He, he, he's going to try to make it, but if not, it'll be me and Rob, though. That's what I'm hearing, Tribal Chief. I'm hearing the uh, second uh, episode of Boba Fett was good. Oh, Bob said he's disappointed. <laughs> right after that. How many episodes is uh, Boba Fett supposed to be? Do you guys know? Is it supposed to be just as long as uh, Mandalorian, I wonder? Eight episodes? Okay. Oh, God. Does anybody remember this? Poor poor Bart. Poor Bart Gunn, man. <laughs> well, it might, it might start off slow and it might get better, right? You never know. That a clip to save the pain of watching that movie. <laughs> yeah, poor Bart Gunn, man. There was a whole, I don't know if there was a dark, I don't think there was a dark side of the ring. Was there a dark side of the ring for him? Or was it based on the Brawl for All? Was that an episode? Yeah, I feel sorry for Bart, man. <laughs> poor guy. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, screw that guy, man. Seriously. That guy's horrible. He betrayed me, man. Yeah, screw that guy, man. Uh, that's why that's why he's he's not allowed here anymore. No, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> I've actually was uh on his uh I had a video a little cameo on uh his uh, best of the year and uh, uh, video he did last week. So you'll see Samurai guy pop up. He's just really busy, man. He's really busy. So remember, he's a filmmaker too. So that guy's either like writing scripts or doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Um, you know, if this happens, I kind of assumed it was going to happen, to be honest, because uh, HBO, they just, they don't like the Snyderverse. So, you know, it is what it is, you know, as long as it's, uh, as long as it's good movies still coming out, you know, anything can be salvaged, right? <laughs> you like Judgment Day. Wow. <laughs> hey, it's all good, man. It's all good. <laughs> the big gun down. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's a good Western. Splinter Eye likes Man of Steel. I kind of wish that they did the whole Flashpoint thing and made the changes they wanted. And then they could do whatever they want. They have the freedom now, right? But still, 
on HBO Max, we still could have Schneiderverse stories within that, you know, Schneiderverse. I wouldn't have mind both, but, uh, you know, that probably costs too much money to do that. Black and White's a great song. That's a great song. I'll I'll just I'll just throw out push it because that was the song that made me a fan. <laughs> you never know, Severio. You never know, man. You never know. I still think they could have did both, you know. Like you still have Henry Cavill as Superman, but he's just doing HBO films, and you could have your Supergirl and and all that stuff in the the main. Uh, you know, the the newest films coming out, you know. But hey, you can look at it this way. We were lucky that we even got the Schneider cut. <laughs> so if we're going to end it there, fine. You know, we were lucky to even get that, so. <laughs> That's a song Bob sings in the toilet. <laughs> uh Pacific Rim versus Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla. I don't know, I'd have to think about that one. <laughs> Bob's got jokes all day, man. <laughs> A lot of people were raving about the the Superman on that uh, Superman and Lois show. A lot of people were saying he's like better than Henry Cavill. So I was just like, oh, really? Wow. I haven't watched that show, but that's what some people, they like him better now. I agree, Splinter. I, I do agree with that. It's like, even if it comes out bad, <laughs> at least you could say they let the director, they gave him freedom to do what he wanted, you know. No, not Dean Kane. Whatever that show that's on, I don't know. You guys know what show I'm talking about. It's called, uh, isn't it called Lois and Superman or Superman and Lois or something? It's a brand new show. It's been out. I think they're on second season. They got kids and everything. I have not. I've, I've been meaning to watch that uh, second season of The Witcher, John. I enjoyed the first season. Is is that him, uh, MK? Is that the one from the show? Tom Welling, is that him? <laughs> hey, cheers, man. Enjoy that. Enjoy that cup of joe, my friend. Yeah. Lois and Clark. That's the Dean Kane one, right? Oh, John enjoyed it. Okay. Heather likes Smallville. Oh, Wellings from Smallville. Okay. Yeah, I just, I, I never, uh, I heard Smallville actually got better, but uh, I don't know what else when I was, I don't know what I was doing around that time where I didn't, I didn't really watch Smallville. It wasn't like I thought the show sucked or anything. I just, I was just watching something else. And Jet Jaguar. Have not seen Dexter. El Nino's best song turns to gray with J Oh really? Oh shit. I bet you that must that must really bang with those guys. That didn't sound right. <laughs> you know what I mean. 
He plays Tom Hanks' oldest son in Road to Perdition. Oh, okay. That's a good movie. That's a that's a ridiculously underrated movie, man. Road to Perdition is really underrated. So I'm not familiar with the the, the novels, anything about it. The only thing I heard, some people that like the movies with Tom Cruise, they're pissed off at the guy that's in the show. And I saw the trailer for the guy that's in the show. But the only thing I heard were complaints when the Tom Cruise movie came out because they said apparently in the book, he looks like Dolph Lundgren, like he's that big. <laughs> he's like a big dude with blonde hair. And some people were like, Tom Cruise, he doesn't even, he's not even close to being like the guy in the book. So now that they got a big dude with blonde hair, people are complaining again. So it just, it just shows, it just proves the show that you can't please everyone. That's the only thing I've heard is that people are, are mad because they're like, well, they got to ruin it. And I'm just like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have that's that's all I have to say on that one. Do I have any show show era show era collections on Blu-ray? I have that big Godzilla. That's what you're talking about. That big Godzilla Criterion set that came out. I have that. Simmer Mike uh, here on YouTube is a movie reviewer. Maybe you two can connect for a few. Of your live chats and verses. I'll have to check out his channel. Or have him hit him, have, have him hit me up. Have him send me a message on Facebook. That Fast Samurai Guy channel. Or P Facebook page. Have him send me a message. That's probably what I was watching. <laughs> probably I was watching Xena, man. <laughs> punch, punch, punch. Yeah, the actor, yeah, he's supposed to be big. That's what I heard. That's the only thing I know. Like, he's supposed to be huge. So I don't know why people are still complaining. Oh, cool. Glad you enjoy the movie, Nate. Yeah, Road to Prediction was like, it's so strange, too, because it's weird how it kind of fell underneath the radar because it was so good. Tom Hanks was still really popular. And, uh, you know, it's just strange why it just disappeared. It came and disappeared. <laughs> uh, I'll go with, I'm going to go with Bruce Lee, Emperor. I'll go with Bruce. Uh, thanks, MK. Thank you, man. Goes, Who's better to you, Jeremy Johns or Grace Randolph? <laughs> you know, I don't, I, I, I when, when Grace Randolph first came out, I watched her videos a little. And then I just kind of lost interest. Uh, Jeremy Johns, I don't really watch him that much anymore. But he kind of makes me laugh once in a while because of his personality. But yeah, Grace, I just kind of, I just kind of stopped watching. <laughs> and, and now I see her tons of videos where people are like hating on her. Uh, so I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know. I, didn't, I haven't looked into any of that. <laughs> They're like hating on her because I guess she's, uh, very clickbaity with movie news or or who knows drama drama channel so what is your dream horror movie you wish they would make i wish they they went through with it and did freddy versus jason versus ash that's i wish they i wish they went through with it man <laughs> chuck norris no one else <laughs> There you go. We got a Hercules legend. Con legendary continues. There you go. <laughs> yeah, good answer, Mike. Good answer. Grace Randolph is pretty, but her voice is annoying. Maybe that's why I stopped watching Bob. <laughs> it could be. I guess it could be why I stopped watching her. It wasn't uh Daniel Craig was in it and um Jude Law and uh the legend himself wasn't um Paul Newman was in it too, I believe. Yeah, it was very strange. It just came out because you know you know how Hollywood is, you know, Oscar bait type movies. 
oh, the cinematography is beautiful. The acting is great. You think it would be talked about, but it just wasn't even, it wasn't even talked about for Oscar bait. <laughs> it just came out and just disappeared. It's like, what happened? Uh, so it says you and Rob are the only people I watch for new movie reviews. Well, I appreciate that. Severio. Thank you, my friend. Was Tom Hanks ever in an action movie? Uh, help me with that question. Uh, movie dojo army. <laughs> I mean, road to perdition is more gangster flick. I'm thinking, oh, well, I guess Saving Private Ryan might be the closest. If I'm cheating, maybe. Uh, thanks, Goji, for the super chat. Also, do you think anyone can top Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man? Me think not. Well, you know, if they ever recasted Iron Man or, or Tony Stark, it's going to be hard. I, that's all I'll say. It's going to be hard to uh, have a new new Tony. Is is the you know I've never seen the Da Vinci Code movies. I've never seen those. Are those like more thrillers? I think he's thinking action where he's just like mowing down <laughs> like if he like if he was in the rock or something like that. I don't know. I mean, he did a lot of shooting and fighting kind of in in Saving Private Ryan, but that was a whole team effort, but uh I don't I'm trying to think actually. We have Turner and Hooch. I don't know. Will that will that count? Will that count? I don't know. There you go. There you go. Turn, Turner and Hooch. There you go. But what made you fall asleep, Heather? <laughs> Saving Ryan's Privates was a great movie. <laughs> oh, Val Venus. Where is Val Venus? Is Val Venus still alive? I think he is, right? Forrest Gump. <laughs> Favorite Van Damme mo uh, movie. The Quest is my... Oh, look at that. Look, wow. The Quest. Because it's nostalgic from my childhood. Yeah. I actually have the soundtrack to The Quest when I was used to collect a lot of scores, music scores back then. It was a pretty good score. Uh, Quest is fun. I like The Quest. It's fun. My favorite? Ugh, it's It's hard. It's hard because the easy answer is Bloodsport. It's so easy. But then Hard Target is just so fucking amazing. <laughs> it's hard. It's it's hard. It's hard, man. I, I, by default, I'll just say Bloodsport for now. But Hard Target, man, it's just amazing. Bob says, I watch you, Fat, because unlike most movie review channels, you appreciate your fans and you're such a humble guy. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I really do. I appreciate it, man. The, the funny thing about me and Lady Fat Blood is... We're just, we're the same since we started the channel up till now. When we, when we only had 10 subscribers, we're still the same people. Like there's no egos here. There's, we're just, you know, we're just like you guys, man. We just like, love talking about movies and we appreciate you guys hanging out. So let's see. Um, wasn't there a new war film that came out recently that Tom Hanks was in it? I think so. Was he on a battleship or something? Uh, Tony, I've been meaning to binge watch Creep Show. I've been meaning to just keep going through the whole thing. I just haven't got around to it yet. <laughs> Do you guys remember the Dragnet rap song? <laughs> you guys remember that? Yes, there was a rap song. Captain Phillips. That that's more uh, that's more thriller, right? Could I beat Superman if my gloves were made out of kryptonite? Yes. <laughs> I think I think anybody could. Let's see. Uh, Kidjuwak says, I know you're into Bud and Terrence. Speaking of them, did you know Terrence did a Lucky Luke movie? And only that, as to my own surprise, he also did it. He also had a Lucky Luke series. Really? I'm going to have to check that out. There you go. Double Impact. That's another good choice. Oh, okay. So he's it sounds like it sounds like Val Venus is doing good. Street Fighter, man. Did you Bob, did you get that Street Fighter steel book? The artwork is amazing, and inside it comes with a bison dollar. Yeah, it's hilarious. It's really funny. 
Uh, I have an, the old Gamera Blu-ray collection. Like came out like years ago. I don't have the new fancy one, Severio. Oh, well, thanks, Splinter Eye. Uh, double impact, MK. It was double impact. Actually, there's there's several. Isn't, aren't there like three movies with two Van Dams? There's there's double impact, right? Which is the most known one. But I thought in um oh, what was it? The replicant. What wasn't there two Van Dams in that? And um I feel like I'm missing another one. Was it maximum uh, impact? Was it maximum impact? I thought he had like a twin brother here, but you didn't see him or something like that. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I had fun torturing Lady Fat Blood with Double Team. I had a lot of fun uh, torturing her. <laughs> was it? Was it? Uh, offense gets the glory, but defense wins the game. That's right. Basketball puns. There's some. There's, you know, there's some parts of that movie I actually do enjoy because it's so insane. Uh, but yeah. Finch. Oh, that sci fi it's a sci-fi movie, right, Bob? I have not seen Finch. I think that's a exclusive for the streaming service it's on. <laughs> Bill Murray been in an action movie. I think he was in some war films, but I don't think he did any action in it. <laughs> Can you imagine? John Wick Bill Murray. <laughs> Oh man. I do not what was it? I do not I do not wear silk underwears or something like that. <laughs> Double impact's fun, man. It's good stuff. J Skull got some Game of Thrones. All right. As long as you're enjoying yourself, my friend. Maximum risk, not maximum impact. Sorry about that. So so yeah, okay. I was I was right. Okay. The 90s Mortal Kombat steelbook is nice, but it has Mortal Kombat Annihilation in it. Oh, that's funny. That should have been like a free digital uh, download or something. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, next time you see Reggie, give him a big wet kiss. Says, y'all made me buy Lady Terminator. Got the red box version from Vinegar Syndrome. Oh, man. I, I still got to buy it myself, but I'll let him know for sure. <laughs> Zombie land. Uh, Travel chief loves double toasted. He loves hanging out with us uh, much better. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. I really do. Would I take a super soldier serum if it was if it was uh, real? Yes, <laughs> I would. Bill Murray as Jet Jaguar. Sold. Sold. <laughs> oh, my God. Bill Murray in The Expendables. That's the one. Greyhound. Okay. Yeah, I have not seen that one. Uh, rest in peace, Betty White. Uh, Zombieland? You know, I don't know. Do you guys know if the second movie did well? Why do I feel like the second movie didn't do that well financially? You know what? Believe it or not, I, I didn't see the second film. I, I was such a fan of the first one, and then I saw the trailer for the sequel, and it kind of didn't look that great, so I didn't watch it. So let me know, guys, if it's still worth checking out. <laughs> oh, Knockoff. Hey, Knockoff's another crazy one, too, man. That one's wild. You know, I we were talking about Cynthia Rothrock movies earlier. Um, I I remember Lady, I remember liking a lot of early Cynthia Rothrock movies, but it's been bazillion years since I've seen Lady Dragon. I'm sure I will still enjoy it for fun, for sure. Oh, all right, Kidwax got Santa Slay, kind of cool, awesome. Name one person that can beat up Jason Voorhees. Nobody. 
<laughs> Bill Murray's action movie was Garfield. <laughs> oh my God. Zombieland 2 is almost as good as the original. Oh, wow. All right. You're making me want to check. Give it a shot then. Zombieland 2 had a budget of 45 million US dollars and grossed $122.8 million worldwide. Oh, all right. Well, then there you go. We may see a third Zombieland. You never know. <laughs> I like that. His mom, his mom could beat him. That's funny. I like that. Do I think pancakes are better than waffles? If it's got fried chicken with it, no, I'm scared. <laughs> then waffles, no, I'm kidding. Uh, I like them both equally. Bill Murray as an unlockable character in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Ash would own Jason. Oh, really? Oh, man. Shots fired already. Kung Pao. I liked her Hong Kong films than her US ones, but I'm waiting for the speculated box set for the in the line of duties what i did not know that was a, a, a thing coming in the line of duty oh, excuse me the in the line of duty movies those are some badass action flicks i was just talking about um in the line of duty four uh today with the stuntman michael hode we were talking about it how good that is yo there's a box set i'm excited for that for sure i would buy all of that uh oh, here we go. Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell. <laughs> Splinter Eye, you're now Splinter Cell with that uh, comment. It's all good, man. Deadpool will own Jason Voorhees. Jason would destroy all. He's immortal. <laughs> Do I like sausages or hot dogs? I like both. Uh, War Zone, huh? I have to check that out. Thanks, uh, Goji. The only thing that can save DCEU is Teen Titans. Go in DCEU. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, there may not be a DCEU, you know, so I don't know if Teen Titans could save it. <laughs> I think it's dead. Okay, all right, all right. I'll, 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 I'll agree with this. Okay, Haku, Ming versus Jason Gold. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. I'll give you that one, Tribal Chief. <laughs> you know, I, I, I actually, no one talks about this one, but I actually like Paul What Shit Anderson's Death Wish. It was entertaining. It was actually real practical stunt cars and that. The the two and three with Luke Goss, I remember seeing them, but I don't remember them. I remember laughing, kind of having fun with them. But there were so many that came out after that, uh, I didn't keep up. But uh, they're probably a lot of fun. I'm surprised there's no Death Race box set because so many movies. Oh my God! Could you imagine, especially with the special effects technology we got now, Artisan? Could you imagine live action Robotech man? Oh my God! Collision course was that with Mister Miyagi jump kicking through the window shield? <laughs> that's the only thing I remember with that movie. I don't remember the movie. It's been so long since I've seen it. If that's the same movie. Uh, thanks, MK, for Super Chat. If someone forced you to watch for a day straight to watch, which would you pick? Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Annihilation. So I got to watch it all day, huh? Tekken 2, Legend of Chun-Li, or The Next Karate Kid. Oh, my God. I'm going to go Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Because <laughs> Tekken 2 is garbage. It's garbage. Oh, man. Legend of Chun-Li is pretty bad, but... I, that makes me laugh because of how bad it is. And no, fuck, fuck next Karate Kid. You know what? Mortal Kombat Annihilation. I, I'm, I'm sticking with it. Because I they, at least got that soundtrack. The soundtrack is good in Mortal Kombat Annihilation. <laughs> Hopefully the new Batman's good. 
We did a whole versus episode on that, Vinny. I'm not spoiling it. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me guess. That was the best part of the movie, right, Bunks? Yep, I knew it. I heard he was in a band. Did he retire from acting? Uh, I'm a fan of that guy. Um, but I wonder if he, re- I heard something about, he started a, some kind of business and he might be retiring. I heard so. Netflix is doing a live action movie of Mega Man. How do you do that? <laughs> I would, they should just make it animated kind of like Sonic or something. Well, kind of, kind of, or just make it the whole thing animation. How do you, how are you going to have a live action Mega Man? It's going to look kind of funny in it. Thanks, Goji, for the Super Chat. Now think about it. A live-action Teen Titans movie is worth seeing. Sure. I'm sure. Have you watched the TV show, Teen Titans, uh, Goji? That's on HBO Max. I'm not sure if that's any good. I was curious about it. Yeah, it's Mortal Kombat, man, because Tekken 2 is terrible. Tekken 2 was so bad, it made the first Tekken look like Mortal Kombat from 1995. It was so bad. I see what you're doing, Severio. I see what you're doing. <laughs> I agreed. Only Haku can beat Jason Voorhees. <laughs> Oop, that got away from me there. Sorry. Was, okay. I guess. So So we're going to have a, a, a kid running around? Special effects, it should be fine. All I'm thinking about right now, when you guys bring up live action Mega Man, all I'm thinking about right now is that Missy Elliott music video <laughs> that came out years ago, a long time ago. You guys remember that? And it was all Mega Man themed. And they were all running around with like Mega Man suits on. I think Timbaland looked like uh, Dr. Wiley and shit. <laughs> That's the only thing. <laughs> Oh, Tekken 2 is atrocious. <laughs> dead or Alive, it, I you can laugh at that. You can Dead or Alive is bad, but you can laugh at Dead or Alive. And it has some some fetching characters in that movie. But there's there was actually I think there was like I remember one or two fights actually being good. And it was, uh, there was this blonde fighter. I think her hair was tied up, but she fought a whole bunch of dudes on a staircase. And I remember that was actually a good fight scene. Uh, but it's pretty, it's pretty bad, but you can laugh at the ridiculousness of it. But Tekken 2 is just why. It doesn't even feel like a Tekken movie. Like it just, it's so bad. Oh yeah. We talked about that earlier bunks. I'm not surprised. I'm sure it'll, I'm sure Snyderverse is dead. (laughs) Here you go. Exactly. Yeah. (laughs) It's so bad. It's so bad. Predators or alien resurrection, alien resurrection, which is better. Uh, you know what? I actually, Predators, Predators is better than the Predator, obviously. But I actually enjoy Alien Resurrection. <laughs> I love Ron Perlman. Predators has its moments, but every time I watch it, despite it having its moments, it just feels disappointing to me. I just disappointed by the end of it. <laughs> Is it going to be a Mega Man dog? I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Nathan. Thank you. I know it's Lady Fatblood's birthday in one hour over here, but in Germany. Thanks, brother. I'll let you know. Oh, you already told her? Okay, well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. She, I'm sure she, she'll get around to seeing it, so. Oh, I, I agree with you, MK, for sure. Sub-Zero Scorpion fights are good. 
They're definitely well done. Vampire Hunter D live action movie would be cool, but then again, we had Van Helsing. I just, just watch Solomon Kane, Artisan. If you haven't seen Solomon Kane, watch Solomon Kane. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, we'll we'll see about this new Predator movie, man. We'll see. So, all right, I think I will wrap it up for tonight. It's almost three hours <laughs> hanging out with you guys, you awesome badasses. I uh, really appreciate you hanging out and talking movies. Thanks for watching the unboxing. And I don't know, I may may or may not have convinced you to go out and buy it, but it looks it's it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome set. I can't wait for volume two to come out i would love to see what's in that uh but thanks for popping in have a good one guys all right guys so don't forget tomorrow 6 p.m pacific time join me and rob we're going to talk about cobra kai season four with spoilers and all that good stuff so love hanging out with you guys you guys are awesome keep being awesome that's right keep enjoying movies and video games and all the things that make you happy in life that's right enjoy life all right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Take care.